Yeah, man, you kind of went, you know. Did I? I guess I need to turn mine down. Yours, but you, on yours, yours is a third one right there. But I think yours, we have to have it loud for some reason. I don't know why. Can you hear but me? Go ahead. Yo, yo. Go again. Can you hear me? Oh, I can hear you good. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I, I just wanted to get it going. <laughs> Here we are, episode 23. Finally got it going. And we got our guest, special guest, Ruben Medina. That's right, baby. Houston comic, well known from Secret Group, well known from Galveston. No, I don't know. I, I performed like three times at Galveston. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, but I I'm saying at Galveston, you won your competition. That's what I, didn't I meant. Win the competition. I mean, I, you I you were my, like I the funniest. You were like round. the funniest guy. Yeah, I just you know. So you know, I'm making my way downtown. You know. And then we also have our uh, guests. Co-host or co-host, Ahmad. Ahmad, just make sure we can hear you. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, we're also watching the game, but then also finally got it up and going. Uh, episode twenty-three is rolling now. Thank you, Ruben, for coming, being very patient, man. Yeah. I, I know because you got here. You know, of course, we hung out for a little bit, and then you know, finally got things rolling. Thank God. Things are rolling now. So the, the great thing about Houston is, is that everything's a thirty to forty-five <clears throat> minute drive. No matter what, no matter what, I could have been in town. It would have took me thirty minutes to fucking get here. 30, 30, 40, yeah. So yeah, that's literally how much it took. Yeah, it took us took a minute to get this going. Hell yeah. Wanted to make sure his mic was working and then your mic. So yeah, I know. Just a little anxiety from it, you know. But it's all good. So they don't know what happened. <laughs> This guy just had the biggest <laughs> meltdown ever. He, well, I was getting all nervous. I was like, "Oh man!" I was like, "Dude!" It's like I have Ruben here, and then I'm like, "Oh man!" Like, he broke you know, two of the and TVs. Getting, and getting, luckily, he had one getting, left. Getting all quiet and like that. I was like, "Oh man, he what has, do I do?" Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, said, "Oh man, what do I do?" Huh, he's here a we Deshaun go. Deshaun Watson fan. He's a, he's a Deshaun Watson apologist. <laughs> <laughs> he just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, I know, but yeah, we we yeah, got to see this. Sh- nah, no, no, I did care when he was here. I mean, that was a shitty situation of what had happened when he was here, you know, because he, he could still have been in our. How many uh, games did you watch when Sean Watson came over? No, I, I mean, watched a few. I watched more hey, than a he few. He made such a huge way. Like that was. That but was he didn't like enjoy our, that many games though. That was like our shining knight in armor. Like, was it not? Like. Was it not? Did we just yeah, but we it, have we have a tendency to fuck QB careers up. No, it, Houston does. It Starting does with David Carr. Yeah. And his, Derek Carr was decent. He has a he's. Oh, he's playing with the Saints now. What's well, on the ES, It's on ESPN. It's on ESPN too. All right, all yeah. right. Yeah. That, that's another reason why I stopped. Well, it's just, how do I get to that one? It, it's a weekly. I am in ESPN. I'm ESPN, ESPN right there. I don't know. You're going to have to. I'm on Hulu. You could probably go to search. I think that maybe that's for like another. Uh, no, it's ESPN. You have, if you have ESPN Plus, you have ESPN2. ESPN too, just go to the search bar and just type in ESPN2. It has, okay, you know, yeah, I don't want to waste time. So, so guys, we have Ruben Medina. <laughs> you uh, could. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I'm trying to do more than a few things right now. So, <laughs> pass my man the sticks. He's got it. Yeah, maybe you're like the. Uh, Is that a PS5? Yeah. Damn, you bastard. Yeah. I barely had a PS4 and I gave it up. I gave it up. So, Ruben, with now, I guess you're doing more stand up more than ever. I see you out there quite a bit. So, yeah, I, I see I'm you not, out doing your stand up. Yeah, I, I usually get there late, there. but so, are do you have? I mean, I know you have more more than a few for sure spots. I guess it's now Social Garden is one, right? You've been going up. Uh, Social Beer Garden. I've been going there every now and then. It's just. You know that that's the same night as uh, 
the Thursday show at a um, at Secret, and then plus like that's a night I have fun because that's like karaoke night, and so like I'd be fucking up karaoke, and I just don't. Right. I'm like if I'm gonna go on late late, then I normally don't go. But if I get on er- like if I get on early in the list, I'll show up so that way I got time to to run back to Secret Group. Right. And then on Secret Group is always like your home base, I would say. Oh yeah, yeah, I'd be there all the time. And the Secret Group, I mean, I, I've heard your, I've heard your set pretty good, man. Yeah, appreciate like your, it. Thank good, you, good man. set. And uh, and then from there, I guess, well, what got you into comedy? Uh, I had nothing else going on in my life, and I was like, you know what? The rapping didn't work, so let's do some comedy. <laughs> you know, were you seriously rapping? I, look. What, not seriously like it, you know what i use i use rapping like like a cool bar magic trick i'm like check this out like, just, <laughs> i just got to say bust bust the beat and i'll bust the flow and then you just kind of go with it and like yeah. not really i would just write some shit and tell people i was a freestyle i was off the dome. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, bro, your, your wordplay is insane off the dome and i'm yeah. nah, i was like i wrote that fucking six years ago <laughs> yeah uh I was I was a uh, I had a, I had some friends that did mu- that did music and I started hanging out with them and I thought I had like somewhat of like a resurgency like oh maybe I could really give it a go I was like I'm 24 I'm not that old yet or I'm 20 you know whatever the fuck and, <clears throat> and um, shit, nowadays they don't live past fucking 22 now <laughs> I dude I just saw you, you know King Von I just saw a documentary on YouTube like his like his mur- he's just he, he's basically a Netflix serial killer. Yeah, that's crazy. But yeah, but I thought I thought I could I thought I could rap. Yeah, yeah, he is. He became a rapper. I don't know. I think, but even nowadays, rappers, some rappers, it's it's a different. It's different than it's different than. Uh, yeah, everyone was safe. Yeah. yeah. He's one of the surviving, surviving if not. Be real, still going hard. Be real, Cypress Hill. Yeah. Real Yeah, that's true. Or dead, or dead, or dead, dead. Yeah. 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 So I didn't want that to happen to me. So I was like, you know what? Let's not do rap. <laughs> it's dangerous. So I was like, I'm gonna be a trap lord, mom. <laughs> So, so where was your first open mic? Uh, believe it or not, I actually signed up for the first time. Well, actually, no. So I, I, I didn't know shit about nothing. I, I, I just knew the Houston Improv. So I would look it up, Google it, and I was like, oh, they do an open mic, blah, 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 blah. And so but I didn't realize when I went there, they had stopped doing it for a while. I showed up. They were just still advertising it. So when I pulled up, they are like, no, we're going to have the... The world's, well, not the world's, the the funniest comic in Texas competition going on. I was like, well, fuck it. I'll just check it out. And then I saw a lot of the comics there, and I was like, man, that was fucking great. And I was like, I'm going to start doing that. So I started actually, like, just going to shows, checking it out. And uh, I actually got on, I think, at this place called Rudyard's. Uh, yeah, Rudd's. For the very first time, I did stand-up. Yeah, Rudd's. And I made the mistake of inviting one of my friends. And uh, I, I got there, like, two hours early. And like I had a bottle of Jack in my car, and I just got so nervous, I took like the whole bottle of Jack. Really? And got on stage. It was like a little bit. It was like January sixth was really fresh. What year? What year was this? So what year was this? It was first time was really like probably like three years ago. But I I was so embarrassed. I'm like I'm never gonna do that again, you know. And then like six months later, ah oh, fuck it. And then like two months later, ah oh, fuck it. And then a month later, I fucking and then weeks, and then then now it's like every day of the week. Yeah. So. No, it's it, it's it's like a drug, man. It is. It's like a drug yeah. because, like I said, like a lot of you guys go down there, and I mean, dude, it's like when I sit in the audience and I'm there listening, and like you're killing, I'm like, man, dude, it's just like a like, like ah, you just, it gets yeah, you adrenaline. it gets you it's adrenaline, fantastic. and the adrenaline is like because like you're making somebody laugh on something you're just saying through a fucking mic on you know mm-hmm. fucking speakers and these people are fucking laughing and then it goes from there or not like, or no not. no 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 yeah yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not kidding yeah. like that like that bro there's, yeah but it, but even but, not, yeah but even yeah. but even then that that that's 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 the uh having the balls yeah. to to go up and do it you know because yeah. 
the, you, yeah. you gotta have yeah, believe, but there's people that don't. There's people that don't. Oh, they still, they still go up. No, but they go up there, oh. and I'm like, you have no audacity. So they just go. Yeah, up. they don't even like know, like really. They just, I don't know, man. It's there was one trip. guy. There know. was one guy. I don't know what happened to him. He was like sitting in a dark corner, like where no one was, and he was in a chicken outfit. He was in a chicken outfit, and he was just not. He was just blank, just. <laughs> the whole time I was like, he's gonna shoot this place up. He's gonna do something. <laughs> and I was like, he, I was like, when is he going up? I was like, he's got two comics. I was like, I'm gonna go upstairs. I was like, let me just let me be near an exit. And, and so uh, he, I was like, I'm not gonna watch this. Thing. He's just gonna bomb, or he's just this guy's out of his mind. Like, and then like my friends came up to like. Did you see that chicken perform? He fucking murdered. I was, like, I was like, what the fuck? Like, so, you just can't tell. Like, it's, no, so you no, can't it, tell. No, yeah, that is. <laughs> the chicken murdered. No shit. Yeah, it was hilarious. Uh, there, there's actually a there's actually a, a 16 year old kid that goes there, uh-huh. and he goes there with his. He's so, he's so adorable. He goes there with his fucking parents, and they just they they have to yeah. So. But you know he actually he he has balls like he says I don't want I'm not gonna say his jokes but you, yeah he's 16 shout out to the Holden he uh, he's he's cool uh, he he uh, he 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 has some balls because the shit he says I'm like oh I wouldn't even try that like you know like yeah because he looks like a, a little white kid he's up there trying to joke about George Floyd or something like that I'm like oh no wow yeah I haven't I haven't seen him maybe I or maybe I have you don't go there enough yeah dude. yeah I, I don't know. fucking hardly ever see you there well no. dude like I I I got I, like I said I I lost the job and then after that then even, I started going even more even more reason why you should No 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 I know I no I know I know it's yeah, I don't know, but see, then that goes back into me having a little too much fun because I do Fuck have a little that. too have much fun. Have all the fucking fun you want. Yeah. It's the funnest shit in the world. How do you? Yeah, how exactly? Like, bro. So I mean, but that's that's the beauty about the podcast. The beauty about the podcast, everything's you know here at the studio. So here at the studio, you know. But then from there, you know. Oh fuck! You barely got in. Sorry. God damn. No, that was great. No, that, that that's a perfect scene to like. Follow right there, you know. Yeah. Okay. See, a scene to That's how much <laughs> are you a fake football fan? Am I no. sitting? Are you putting on a show? You no, got the I'm beers. I'm not a fake got, football fan. Yeah, he was always friends with us, and we all. Danny be there, but he could give a fuck less. Yeah. yeah. He'd be like, is this the, the Tigers playing the Rockets? <laughs> Is this the sharks versus the dragons? No, no, no. I, I've always, I've always, I've always, I've always been involved in football. Just not all in of football. Yeah, I know. But it's just. Uh, you know, I, it's I was, good. you know, I was telling you earlier. I was like really like heavy into the Texans when they were like winning pretty hardcore. And I used to go to all. Oh, you want me to open that for you? Yeah, dude. You have a. I thought I thought it was a twist off. Oh no, nah, man. It's uh, yeah. No, I got I'm a little not, trick. Yeah, trick of the trade. This, this this is a Mexican magic trick. I don't know if you know, like every Mexican, everything's a bottle opener. Yeah, no. yeah. Except that's why I'm not a real Mexican because I couldn't <laughs> do it. <laughs> was he Mexican? Was he Mexican? Yeah. Okay. Every kid. Every kid's birthday party I go to. They're great, aren't they? Yeah. Great food. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh oh. See these people. Okay. He was one. He's one of those couples that he sh- he showed up real early. He's one of those that showed up like early, which was on time, and then yeah. they're oh, still you're putting punctual. together. Oh, no. The- no, 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 no! I didn't mean to be. My son told me to start at a certain time. We got here, the people were setting up. They're like, oh. you can leave him there. but see, that's a true part. That's a true Mexican party. Like, Mexican or too. are they Mexican <laughs> though? That's what, all comedy. Are, are they is, Mexican though? though? They, did we say you said they were Mexican or they were? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He said they were, he forgot the part where they were shooting at a piñata. Like that's <laughs> Did you shoot at a piñata? Oh, that would have been cool. <laughs> you know what would have been more. No, everybody was doing the uh, ba, ba. Hey, everybody, you know, they were just throwing beer at you. Everybody was uh, opening them with I'm like, yo, man, like where, no, where's the cuz I used to have You like, thought you thought they had it in their hand. Well, either that you have a knife. But either either you have that or you have a knife. You know, Everything, a knife. A I knife. do with a knife. Or you know, you got in your boot or I some shit. shit with a, uh, a bottle opener. Bottle opener. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I, I always feel like you know, if the apocalypse was gonna hit, you know, it, what, what's gonna be with me is 
a good possibly payout. some cash, cash money. I'm not gonna say the amount, cash money, a lighter. Just saying, like if if if, if shit if shit would, oh, well, it could work. It's paper, but anyways, <laughs> a lighter, a lighter, a big lighter, a big lighter. No other than a big lighter, because a big lighter is pretty much you can get it wet and then dry it off and then still have it light. Um, I, I survival kit, yeah, survival kit. So I, I guess a few other things would be. I'm gonna be honest. It doesn't sound like gas. It. You just you said one thing. <laughs> you said one. If I was stuck in the woods, I would want a lighter and a. Uh, well, no, if no, but I, apocalypse. I, I would want a lighter and a cell phone. Like, like just, Max, yeah, like. No, but what I meant like was having the lighter because the fact I, I always have a lighter with me. I just always have a lighter. Yeah, so, okay. but a big lighter is always a good thing to have. It's, and they always just say having cash. Having some shoes, man. I'm just saying, like, if if say you could be anywhere, and then say there's an apocalypse, and it happens, yeah, and an that's probably, probably something you want to have, you know. I'm listening. You know, so, so it's just a lighter. It's just anywhere, and it's, you know, you could be anywhere in the apocalypse. Every degenerate in the world has a lighter in his pocket, so that means every degenerate in the world is packed and ready for the apocalypse. <laughs> yeah. You just never know when you might need a lighter. Yeah, you're know. right. Oh, no, they, come in they come in handy. Right now, when we have a government. <laughs> and, you know, relative peace. But when the apocalypse happens, the lighter ain't gonna mean shit. No, 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 you know what I would say? I would say about like people, people that don't have lighters, mm -hmm. they judge people that have lighters because they know what the fuck is up. Right. They know what the fuck is up. <laughs> like I used to work, I used to work at a super corporate place, and like every time it was a birthday party, every time I was like. Hey, who got a lighter? And I'll just pull it out of my pocket. Everyone's like, my manager just look at me like, that's a stereotype. You, don't, you don't smoke cigarettes. That, that's, like a, fuck. that's like a stereotype, though. It's like, Bro, they look at me it's weird. Like, mm -hmm. it's They're just, like, uh-huh. And, uh -huh. and I just like, look at them like, it. you know what it is. Come on. No, Come so on. at my cousin's wedding, right? My cousin had a wedding. In the wedding, you know, it's like on this, it was in Pacific Beach there in Austin off of like a beautiful view, whatever. And I guess it's like the point in the marriage of the candles being lit. And there was nobody, I guess the priest, obviously the priest didn't have a lighter. So then there's like, anybody have a lighter? And I was like, damn. So I said, like, fuck it. So I said, like, yeah, I got a lighter. So I went up there and I lit it. And, the, and, the, and then I, and then I got through it. you weird? No, nah, well, I mean, I wouldn't say they looked at me weird, but obviously I was like, yeah. I mean, what's, like I said, I just always known to have a big lighter, you know, just have a big lighter. It's just, I don't know. Can I be on? Yeah, I, I think you're just the closest, or you. Maybe, maybe you're just the proudest to say you had a. I, I was actually proud to actually say like I, I provided the lighter for their for their and then and then but then no but then he threw it in the sermon saying that oh yeah well now in the you know that just shows you how sometimes friends have to that God friends friends have to come in and help you. Friends have to come in and help you with your. God, God shines the light through your most <laughs> fucked up family. Like, that's what they, that's what they did. <laughs> Thank God I had a big lighter. You Thank know? God we have a drug addict son who's there. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that, that's funny. So yeah, so that's 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 why I feel it's just you know odd times needs a big lighter you know and then I was uh, odd time needed. A, I mean I didn't I didn't I didn't flip his. He's lacking. He's lacking. You know, I went to, I was at a, I was in a couple weddings and I went to a wedding and like, I wasn't, you know, they all know I smoke, but like, I'm not going to go, I'm not a degenerate like that where I'm going to show up high and shit. So like, I took a shower, but I took a hot ass shower and my eyes were just scorching red. And then I walked up, I'm just all like, <laughs> and they're like, oh shit, look, it's like, Make sure y'all show up early tomorrow and show up sober. Oh, like, and I was like, I'm not high. Like, yeah, they did that. And my friend's grandma was just looking at me, just yeah, nodding her head. I'm like, oh my god, I'm the best man. Like, you know, like <laughs> this is fucked up. <laughs> but I mean, and and sometimes I feel you know it just it, it, it takes the edge off, you know, to I have guess. a lighter on you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it takes the edge off. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna lie. Earlier when I when I brought up my weed, I was like. My lighter. I'm like, this motherfucker don't got a lighter, but thank God that you always have a lighter on you. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. That's handy contribution. A lighter. You need a lighter. That's what I said. It's, it's a, it's a good thing to have. I pull it out. 
<laughs> there you go. You know my my uh I, my aunt. She's she smokes cigarettes and like I, I went to her her restroom and she has like a a porcelain bowl and it's to the brim of fucking of, no of lighters and they're all full and shit. And I'm like, who gave you all these lighters? Like I just pick them up on the way. Like I just see one here, see one there, and it just it turned into this. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You know, she shoplifted one time and she had like she put like a melon in her pants and it slid down to her knee while she was paying. And then she started limping out of there and she was like, Oh my knee's swollen. She she started playing like the the sad Mexican Mijo, help me, you know, she was like, I'm like, what, what's wrong? And I look and I'm like, This bitch got a melon in her fucking pants. A whole melon. This is your aunt? Whole, this aunt. is your tia? Yeah. My tia, I love her to death. She, you got to. she, dude, she could, she could make cakes. Yeah. She can make your prom dress. Yeah. She could, she could hem, she hems all my pants. All your pants. She yeah. can get your title. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like she could, she can get you an inspection, right. and you don't even need to take your car in. Yeah. It's just whatever, just whatever. Um, and she used to babysit and and manufacture drugs. Yeah. <laughs> like she did everything, bro. Exactly. She did everything. I remember my mom when I when I when she got arrested. I told my mom I was like, "Why would you let this lady babysit us?" <laughs> I love her to death, and she's like, "I didn't know she was doing that." I'm like, "That's bullshit." Yeah, it's whatever. That's whatever. She gave you the discount, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she gave me the discount. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She knows she's not gonna do anything at Yeah, I didn't get molested. Yeah. yeah so yeah, this, she's not yeah. I was just like, "What's this? Yeah. Like this vial of white powder?" Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. If anything, you would have got something she boosted. Yeah. You know? One day they came looking for her. Uh, they came. I was on my way to summer school, and I was like, "Oh, there's a cop here." Like, where's blah 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 blah? But like ten minutes earlier, my aunt knocked that door. She goes, "Hey," blah, blah, blah. and she just ran in my room and went in the closet. Yeah. And they're like, "Knock, knock, knock." Where's what's her name? Wow, it's crazy. Yeah, she ran into the closet. Yeah, into my closet. <laughs> I love that lady though. Yeah, you, you have to. You have to. I love that lady. Do, do you? Uh, do you <laughs> is, is she? Is she? Do you work her into your act or all? I should. Yeah. Maybe it seems should. like you would. I, I didn't. That's just the truth. Like you know, it's just the God honest truth. Wow, yeah. your your aunt seems kind of oh, yeah. daring. Yeah. That is such a. Uh huh. Sometimes she, you know, she, you get to her and she's like, yeah, you, you can wear that like in fifth grade. Yeah, okay. So oh, oh, that's good. Okay, I know what you're wow. saying. You'll grow, you'll grow into yeah, it. You'll grow into it. it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you, yeah. I, I had a cousin who worked at a Big and Tall when it was called Big and Tall. Yeah. And, uh, and he, uh, bro, like, anything we did, like, bro, it was just like, <laughs> see, see, here's the thing. Like, that's how I know. This how I know. Like, you're in a different generation. Like, mm -hmm. you say boost, which yeah. is cute. Like, we we like, uh, like we we hit a lick. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's yeah. we hit a lick. For me, hit the lick. Uh huh. Took some crack out of your sock and gave it to a dope man. <laughs> got twenty dollars. That was hitting the lick. That's not hitting the lick. They're just yeah. making a transaction. <laughs> what the fuck? That's. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's uh, uh, there, no, because there's got to be some kind of no, no. no. When you hit, <laughs> is there what? Because there's no finessing in a transaction. No, there's not. It doesn't have to be finessing. Like now, I had, I had a nice. A lick, I always thought was like just the general, like. What else I'm saying? But it's the general overall. Everything involved in the exchange and the exchange. A mark. Yeah, Mark could be. Yeah. Well, it's not necessarily rob. It's not. It's finesse. It's just a finessing word, I guess. I guess. <laughs> what was I saying? What was I saying? Oh, my, oh, so. An illegal transaction. Did you say? Yeah. Uh, it's a generational thing. I guess so. But my cousin worked at this big and tall, and like one day the power went out. Mm -hmm. He called like two of my cousins because I would go there to hang out with him because I was just, he was like my brother, so we would just hang out while he was working. And it was only him, so I would just. I look, I look like this at 12, 11. So, like, people thought I worked there. Yeah. And I basically knew everything. So, I was like, yeah, the, the, the section's over there. Oh, you might like this color. Like, you know, some bullshit. And, uh, and the power went out. He called two of my cousins. We pulled up and just 
through the back door, everything. Oh, you want Sean John? You want this Echo? You want this, you know? Yeah. Remember Sean? This is what Sean John was. <laughs> was the hottest shit ever. That had, signature on that shit. Of, no, it was just big and tall. It was big and tall. <laughs> I, I, had, I had so many G Unit shirts, bro. Like, that's when G Unit had some they're fucking like, clothes. You remember like, that? Damn, at work, they're like, damn, Ruben. Yeah. They're like, damn, Ruben looking kind of nice. You know? <laughs> <laughs> just dressing up, bro. He, he, okay, so he knows this. I, 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 it's fucked up, but I'm saying this. I admitted this some way later. But uh, he he would always like count the money right, and I'm a dumbass, you know. So like he would count the money. Bal- I didn't know what balance in a drawer was or whatever. So he would give me the fucking money in the envelope. He'd be like, "Hey, go put it in the safe. Here's the keys." And you know, I'm like, I'm not gonna make it obvious, but they're not gonna miss sixty dollars. Like you know, they're not gonna miss eighty bucks here, twenty bucks there. Like, but like I didn't know until like fucking ten yeah. years later. I was like, hey, I gotta admit something. She was like, I used to, like, you used to steal. Like, yeah, we always stole from there. Yeah. Like, it's like, I stole too. I was like, what'd you yeah. steal? It was like, some shoes or something. I was like, nah, I stole the money. Like, <laughs> like, so, like, and then he started, like, he started thinking about it. He's like, bro, that's why when the manager would open, she would always blame it on the other girl all the time. Like, cause, like, she was untrustworthy. So I was just putting heat on her because my cousin was like, the, the fucking, yeah. the good guy, but he was like, he but he, yeah, yeah, yeah. he was robbing him left and right like you know like it was it was funny dude yeah, it's, it's hilarious it's, girl. I love my cousin yeah. <laughs> and you got a tia cousin <laughs> thing of Dan, dog bro I, I had a I had a I have another cousin he's in jail now like to this day every time he gets out of, he gets out of jail like, he's always like doing pretty well but like, he don't sell drugs though like he's not yeah. like, that kind of person because those those people are obvious. But like him, I never know what he does. Right. I'm like, I'm like, what do you do? He's like, yeah, I, I work, you know, with working with a company that kind of helps Google and shit like that. I'm like, oh, we do Bitcoin. Now it's Bitcoin. Now it's like Bitcoin. I'm like, oh, you just scam people you or something. Yeah. yeah, you do nothing. <laughs> there. There's no, yeah, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> finesse crypto, basically. Yeah, yeah. Finesse. Yeah, that's they, finesse. yeah, that's a finesse. Yeah, that's a lick. <laughs> that's, that's a lick. Like, yeah, man, buy this shit. Yeah. Off of what? Well, off of what? Like legitimately? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Was he he was I don't, be, I don't believe in that shit. Real early? I mean, it's, it's almost you got to have a lot more money just to take the fault if some shit eats, you know. Well, it's another investment. It's 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 another thing to invest in, obviously. But it's only valuable because it's worth this many dollars, right? Yeah, that's the only thing that makes it valuable. Yeah, but there's just like any other market, though. So you get enough of it and you cash it in for dollars. Dollars. Hard liquid cash. Yeah. Why? Somebody said, you know, it's fucking working. Well, no, no, that's what I'm saying. It does work. There, there's been yeah. uh, other situations. Like, there, it's a, it's a fight against inflation. Have you heard? Okay, so I, I don't, I don't know the name of the guy. I don't know exactly the whole situation. I just know tied into that whole. And I think I brought this up. I think I brought this up a few times. Um, it's that shit where you go and pretty much you rob somebody else's phone. So the direct contacts that they wanted was CEOs, people with mad amount of money. And obviously, if, if you're a CEO, you have a lot of money. You obviously, you're going to be on your phone quite a bit. And you're going to be on your phone like doing most of your business and your transactions. So they were their main target. So this guy robbed three or four of them and was able to like per, like interface like get so he created I, I guess how it went because most of these people had iPhones so some of these iPhones went to the point where they he 
I guess I'm not going to get too much into it, but he broke the, the interface, got into their phone, and was able to dabble with their fucking 401ks in their retirement. Turned it into Bitcoin and then flipped it around and hit it. Sweet. It's almost like like it's almost like the new age robbery of taking somebody's shit. It's cleaning money. But 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 he he's in prison now. Like I'd like to say if I had a fucking if I had like a uh, Jamie and I would tell him to look it up. But so the, the no no. But my my whole point was like he has his money hidden. So he took the time and took the sentence. Got the sentence. Now that he got the sentence in, like when he's finished with his sentence, he's going to get out. He's going to cash out. And he's going to cash out because he's the only one that knows how to get to that crypto. Yeah, so that's the only thing I can say is in crypto. That's the only benefit of that shit. It's crypto. It's like you have to get, you know, you you have it's encrypted. So it's encrypted cash that you can only get it in hold of. <clears> but yeah, there's a guy who lost. like That's a fucking flash crazy, drive. though. There's a guy who lost like a flat, a flash drive. And uh, some bullshit, and apparently he has like like a couple billion dollars worth of Bitcoin, and he lost it. And he That's crazy. It. Yeah. That's so crazy. What? Yeah, he like he at the time it wasn't worth you know, but he had so much money in it, and he put it like on a on a fucking flash drive, and he lost it. And so like people are trying to hunt this flash drive, and just, <laughs> I guess. That's where he gets the flash drive and the Bitcoin. <clears throat> I swear, money is like alchemy. You know that money is like alchemy because if you think about it like before it was like precious gems you know and then and then gold yeah that's stupid that's inflated too gold is is i work at a pawn shop i used to work at a pawn shop and i learned that gold is like way worth more than diamonds like yeah. legitimately like because diamonds are not it, we, we got programmed to make diamonds overly inflated in price <laughs> And then, well, we can we can go I can go on on that conversation too. Though, Say it again. Yeah. Diamonds are controlled by a monopoly. Oh yeah 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 it's yeah it's all the beers it's a cartel. The beers. The beers or the bears or the beers. different the South African company. <laughs> I was like the Chicago company. <laughs> no, not, not, the, the not the not the not the, the, the SNL okay. skit. And they hold all the diamonds. Okay, they hold all the diamonds. Yeah. <laughs> it's not rare. Look it up. They're not rare. No, they're not no, rare. No, 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 they're, no. no. People to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. People to kill me. But if you were able to do that, all they would do is just they would flood the market with diamonds. They would. And just would fuck down. your shit up. And just fuck your whole deal up. Bro, that's what, I mean, that's what, uh, that's, that's they're what. They're not even allowed to operate in the United States. They crazy. have no offices in the United States. Yeah. we import this shit. Yeah. But the beers cannot operate in the United States. It's just a criminal enterprise. That's crazy. It's crazy. And the diamonds are just. It's, it's some, I don't know, like, <clears throat> when I worked at a pawn shop and I was like, I always had this misconception, like, it has diamonds in it, it's worth fucking thousands yeah. of dollars. Yeah. And, like, it, it could be the smallest diamond, and that's yeah. that's a thousand dollars right there. And, like, and you get a crackhead that stole, like, a cluster ugly fucking <laughs> flea market ring yeah. that some old poor lady left in her car at Fiesta. That's fucked like, up, you know, like, yeah. that's happened, you know. And they just think they're man. I'm about to get fucking five G's for this hoe, like you know. And they and I'm like, how much do you give? I was like, I'll give you fucking thirty dollars. Yeah. And they're like, what the fuck? The motherfucking diamonds in that motherfucker. And I'm like, I'm like, bro, these ain't worth the shit. See how small they are. Oh, so you would be the guy that would like, bro, like have to like. I didn't give a fuck when I was at the pawn shop. Like, I had no fear of people. Because like I had the, I, I mean, is that like a, do you, I mean, do you, I mean, okay, so uh, like, do you get there and then and then the manager's no, like, not like that, it's did, like, it gave me shit. but it like you shit. get there and like after two weeks the manager like empowers you like, okay, you can go out there and get with me like if it goes beyond a thousand or get with me if it's beyond. I, I was able to hold my own at the pawn shop. Oh, like, yeah. I was like, they didn't really need to supervise me because like I, I mean, it's pretty basic. I watch, I fucking binge watch the fuck out of Pawn Stars. I'm like, I got this. Like, <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, bro, no, no. My, my, co my cousin, my cousin who, who worked at Big and Tall, you know, he, he, he would like flip shit and like, I'll, you know, shit, he'll get like, Remember when blackberries were like the shit? Yeah. He he would flip blackberries. He would flip this. He burns CD. He ate a little thing. So like I I didn't really imply that at all until like I kind of got to the pawn shop. And I'm like, 
Oh, this is profits. This is this. oh, you flipping this? You flipping that? The chain, a fucking CD player, a PS3, the lawnmower, like, you know. Um, <clears throat> but the pawn shop was a trip, though. No, I bet it's like you get a bunch of fucking characters in that shit. Oh, bro, the crackheads, you can't come up with these motherfuckers, bro. <laughs> I, I would, I would, yeah. I mean that. I mean, Pawn Stars is more like a fucking clean. Be, even though hardcore pawn that's is like, fake, that's more accurate. Like, wait, what? Yeah. Hardcore pawn. You know the true T, the true TV. Yeah, yeah. They, oh, okay. It's, I, I didn't know there was an episode on yeah, that. They, they have a they have a pawn shop in Detroit, and it's called Hardcore Pawn, <laughs> where they just have. The most yeah, that's that's one I'll be. Detroit oh, people. Oh damn! Like, like Detroit, Detroit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Terrible acting too. Yeah, terrible acting. Um, there's a yeah, that's funny, but uh, but the fucking crackheads there, like it would be hilarious. Like there's some that would always be around. Like what's up, dude? What's up, guy? Like <laughs> and like. Uh, they would always come in with like a grocery bag full of like watered up napkins, a little miscellaneous this, and beneath all of that is the one thing they wanted a pawn. <laughs> like, like it would be like it would be like a little watch or something, or like, or uh, one time this guy was fiddling through a shit with his homeboy, and his fucking crack fell out, and like my my friend was like, "Hey bro, you, you dropped your your crack, dog," and he's like, "Oh." oh. <laughs> like they'll, they'll pawn portable you DVD. Your rock, bro. I had a guy pawn a portable DVD player, and he pawned it, wow. and I just opened it. He would always pawn it and pick it back up. Yeah. And one day I was like, "Oh, let me make sure he don't got a movie in there." Motherfucker got a porno in there, dude. Course, and then he walked in. He was like, "Hey, bro, I left my dirty movie in your portable portable DVD player." He's <laughs> like, "Let me get my little my little nudie, my little nudie flick." You know? and I'm like, "All right, my bad, bro." Well, he wanted the file on his new phone or what? No file. What? File. <laughs> Oh, a portable it was a DVD. CD. It oh, was I was hard. like, oh my bad. It had that ghetto paper portable. on it that said that said big Brazilian booties yeah, or something. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bro. Uh, I don't really want to get into that. That's a different section of my childhood that yeah, I, I know. Then you're like, yeah. No, that's a cool job though that's that you must have you must have yeah. yeah. Sometimes I wanted to, bro. Like I didn't, I didn't realize how. So I didn't. I, I had totally missed that. I was like, damn, it's so a portable DVD. Yeah, yeah, yeah portable DVD. One last, yeah, one last beat to it. You know, one last <laughs> bro. Oh shit, movie. And then he remembered. He's like, damn, where's my? It, it. He worked at the gas station across the street, and it was like an after hours place where you could buy, you know, beer after hours for a little markup. And he was, he was always, I always saw him on that portal with the player, and I didn't know he was watching porn the whole time. And it was probably the same disc. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was his only one. It was his only one. That's hilarious. <clears throat> yeah, like, so, was, so, so Ruben, bo- born and raised in Houston, right, bro? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Denver Harbor. Hey. Yeah, baby. And see, and see, that's what I'm saying. Like, my whole other objective to this podcast, man, is like trying to make it Houston based. And see that's, that's and see we like uh, the last episode or the episode before that was about um, Marlo and I were talking about like the Austin and Houston scene, you know. I, and, you know, I and really, I'm proud about Houston. I, I I love what's going on in Austin, everything. But it's just like I feel like guys like you, man, they're out there. Like you said, like I I I, I want to be out there. As many nights as I can, but it's just so hard. Yeah. But you're out there, like getting on these open mics and and getting up there and bringing all this different material on, and that's that's awesome, you know. I, I don't know if I really have like a real like legit opinion on Austin versus Houston because I've never really gone to Austin to do comedy yet. But I'm still trying to make my mark down here, so I'm a, I'm gonna make it there. Um, but what I hear from other comics that go to Austin. A lot of them tend to say that our open mic scene is one of the best in like the country for open micers for people that want to go up there and just try out shit. They don't got to be like super connected to get behind a mic, you know. So it's it's uh, that's that's the only thing I really. But then, but then, and then I hear either in comments or I hear also like um, we're one of uh, what? Yeah, no, actually, I think it was on the Facebook page, and. I guess somebody got out there and voiced like not to talk shit to the audience members. And I guess it was based on like Houston is one of the last spots that actually has where you're actually going up against, you know, you go up open mics and then you're, you're going to, you know, you have your audience is 
general public, you know? Yeah. And we're one of the last few spots where versus Austin, it's so saturated and so saturated with other comedians. The only people that are judging you in, in, in Austin are other comedians, which, I mean, that's a good thing, but then also it can be a bad thing too because your your true audience is people. Your true audience is the general population, like people, you know, that are random going to a club and, you know, have a beer and the next thing you know they're watching comedy and they're like, damn, this dude's pretty fucking funny. And then nowadays, of course, we got Instagram. So now it's like, damn, I want to follow this guy. And then, you know, follow, you know, see where, you know, or maybe come back to Secret Group, you know? Yeah. Um, I, <clears throat> I, don't, I mean, it definitely is that. You know, here it's a roll of the dice. Like, if you go to Secret Group on an open mic, you know, there's some kinds where it's like, man, this crowd's fucking crazy. Wow. Right. Yeah, I know. Or like, I performed with a couple just on a date. Yeah. I, <clears throat> that was actually cool. I did perform for like, a little like a couple and i was just kind of just talking to them and like it felt it felt kind of cool no and that's what i was saying going back to what we were saying though you know it it it, it is like you know just making somebody laugh it's like a drug you know i mean i mean i i related to uh i mean of course not anybody can go up and get a mic and talk in front of a crowd you know it just takes certain people to do it which is why i bring certain people on the podcast too yeah. you know Obviously, you know, that, that, yeah, man, but that I'm just, you know, then again, you know, just much respect to that, you know? Hell yeah. It takes a lot of balls to do it. Yeah. It takes a lot of balls. There, there's been a few times where I went up there and, like, <clears throat> I, I would, like, this was, like, when I noticed, when I noticed I was getting, I was improving, like, that I just, when there was a big crowd and I was, like, this is the time where I actually got to, like, try to actually try to be present in the moment and rather just say my fucking lines, <clears throat> my heart was fucking going off the rails dude they're about to call me up and then i walked up to one of my comics he was all fucking coked out and he was like yeah i was like hey, what's, uh, yeah of course a lot of them are and so like i was like hey bro tell me it's gonna be okay and he put his arm around me he's like it's gonna be okay he's, he's all <laughs> fucked up. and i'm like dude feel my heart and he's like oh my god he's like i'm coked out and that's not even how you know about my heart's not even being that fast and he grabs some other another comic's fucking hand he goes feel this shit and he's like bro you're about to fucking go collapse and they're like all right rude medina and i was like oh, i'm just gonna do whatever and i just fucking did pretty good okay. yeah so it, it's crazy how some people would say like man you look so you look you this is just what people would say, like, man, your stage presence, like, you got a lot of confidence. And I'm like, bro, hell no, nah, dog. Like, I'm nervous <laughs> as fuck. I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. You know, just, I don't, it, it isn't. Oh, shit, my bad. Damn, 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 my bad. What the fuck was that? No, nah, oh, I was trying to move. I, I get all antsy over here. My bad. It's all right. No, but what what I was saying is like, uh, what, yeah, no, when you're in the moment, man, like, that, that that's like, you know, pretty. It's like, it's like skydiving. It's, I, there's sometimes where it feels like that. Cause like I'm fucking scared when I go out there. It may not, it may not look like that. Uh, one thing I would say that helps with confidence. Um, just this is just me personally. <clears throat> is doing karaoke. Cause if you could, if you could, if you could sing decent and you know the words and you could say it without really looking at the screen, you, your confidence behind a mic saying shit is just kind of like flowing with words and you're kind of like flowing with the right, music. Right. Right. You know, when you're on stage, you could kind of do that with your act. You kind of just feel the crowd like. Are these a crowd of a bunch of nerds? I can talk about nerd shit, or is this a crowd about you know some ghetto motherfucking? Like, <laughs> like there was this one Mexican hit yesterday. He had like the biggest fat fucking gold chain on. The motherfucker was big. He had it tucked in. Thought I wasn't gonna notice it. And I was like, bro, I grew up with motherfuckers like you. I was like, I was like, why you why you got your chain tucked in? You trying to be modest? I was like, motherfucker was like poking out like this, you know? And I'm like, what the fuck's the matter with you, dude? So I made him take it out, and I was just kind of like, you know talking about that shit versus like i'm really just a nerd so like i go up there talk about nerdy shit and like sometimes that just doesn't rock with people so just different strokes different right, folks. Right. no but i mean going back to like you were saying like i i feel and see man this is coming from me like i'm 43 but like i said i'm not like all, all i can say to this point i can get up on a mic even at even at the point just go up there and say a few things and like I've said it before, it's a lot of thoughts that are on your mind. But I feel like, like I said, when you got somebody else come up and telling you like, yo, man, I see the confidence. It's like, I feel like that's when you come with like your real, your real situations, your realness, your, your, your material. That's all about you. Because at yeah. the time, obviously before the fact, you don't want to fail. You don't want these 
fuckers to like you know not laugh. Yeah. So you're you're coming with the yeah. thing. You come in with your you've collaborated everything you can in your head to be like, yo, man, I think I got this shit. So boom, you're gonna gather as much material for your five minutes and throw that shit in there and yeah. see what happens. And then I've seen it, man. Uh, I I need to see you more though. I mean, I hate to say it, I'd be honest, but yeah, I I I just but yeah, it hits. Well, no, no, he hasn't. He he hasn't. He hasn't really seen my. Uh, no, I'm just saying. If he's inspired. <laughs> he's inspired. He's gone up on stage. You already said he's never there. I, I see. Okay, I see it. He be there. Yeah. No, he. Basically. Every time I see. Okay, to be fair. To be fair. Let me be fair. Yeah. Every time I see I'll Danny. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna say this in good faith as well. Every time I see Danny, it's in line to sign up for the for the open mic. That's yeah, a yeah. lot of times I see him. We're like, oh, hey, what's up, Dan? Hey, what's up? Yeah, blah, 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 yeah. we're, we're in line waiting to sign up for the open mic. <laughs> so it's not like he doesn't go there and just like, oh. Like he's not like in the gym taking pictures of him by a weight set not working out. He, when he goes, he goes. You know, uh, but uh, how often, if, okay, if you're not working, you should be there. Every, well, first of all, period. Even you should be, working. even if you're working, you need to be there every fucking possible chance you can get. No, 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 but chance you see, say that because that every possible <clears throat> chance you can get that gives somebody a loophole. No, you're right. Then every fucking day, yeah. every fucking day, every you gotta be. No, 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 true. But the the thing is, I feel it's always been like kind of a uh, like if your day's going good, the week's going good. Late, lately, things been kind of bumpy. So, no, no, yeah. true. No, that's what got me there the first time. Like when I actually went, when I went down to downtown in Maine, that's what got me there. But yet again, like. Uh, yeah, I, I just I, I do get inspired by other comics, you know. I don't go there like that. I, there, there was kind of one point when I was hitting hard, <clears throat> and like uh, I had a, I remember I threw my first show. You know, I've only been doing stand for you know, two. Let's just say two years, um, like consistently, and uh, and I finally threw my my first show that I did. It was my place that I was able to accommodate. And if it was a fucking hassle and a half, and I was like, bro, I'm gonna take a break after this because I'm fucking tired. Yeah. I, you know, I was doing like three mics in one night, you know, like, and I, I worked in Jersey Village, I lived in Spring, I fucking drove downtown and then had to do it. Like, it's just a trifecta that was killing me. And, uh, yeah, man. <clears throat> and one day I, uh, I was on a show and I was like, I'm just gonna do the show. That's fucking it. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna go home. You know, I'm just gonna go home. And so the show ended. And like I was having a conversation with a comic, and my the flow of the conversation was so funny and so like evenly flowed. I was just like, I gotta go up, like I gotta go up. <laughs> and, and see, I, that's I, what I'm saying. That's what went, happens. And then I went up. I was yeah. like literally like I yeah. was literally like like that, ah, I'm just, oh, fuck it. I'll just do the mic real quick. And then so I went up. I got home. And I fucking hit a car going 70 miles an hour. Oh, man. I'm sorry, bro. Yeah. Bro. I, no, I, I wasn't drunk, fucked up. It was their fault. It was their fault. Crunk. Oh, yeah, bro. I was zoned out. There's sometimes, I, I guess. Crunk. I know what fucking crunk is, dog. I know what crunk is. I know what you mean, but I'm not embarrassed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, I got in a wreck. And, like, I was forced to not, I did do stand up for a month and I was fucking dying, bro. I was like, no, it, it's, 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 I don't know. It's my, it's, I don't even want to say it's therapy, man. I don't even want to say that, but it's my own. It, I, I do. I've said it a few times on stand up and I, I kind of killed what I said that shit, but I had said it, it was almost like my therapy, you know, it going up is. there and just like saying some shit. But then I, like I said, I, I, I'm just only basing on like when people have good material, it's all gathered up of what fucking, it's coming from some deep, dark places and then some good places. Yeah. But then when you combine it, you want to deliver. And obviously you want to deliver your your point to the audience is like, yo, this is what I feel. And you're doing it in a nutshell. And that's the hardest part. Doing everything in a nutshell, you know, yeah. to kind of just deliver it's and hard. hit that punchline. See, see, this is the way I say I, I think that it's, uh, you, you call it therapy, but I think <clears throat> Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. I, I would imagine after you come off a good set, that feeling is so relaxing. <laughs> yeah, it is. But like, to be honest, like a lot of times it's more, more times, more times the other way. It's, it's more times the other way. So, so it, you're right. So I wouldn't. That's why I wouldn't necessarily say going up there yeah. for the victory. I, I would. 
I don't even want to. When you, I get it. It feels great. Yeah, you work hard and you People fucking. Just putting yourself out there. Anyway. Yeah, when you put, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's pretty good for you. I think it is Most too. People don't do that. They just go to work. They go to work. They're distracted by everything. Yeah. Like. You, like the people, okay. The people, the people I, I worked with in my recent adult years, have been in nothing but like the most boringest yeah. corporate. I never realized how shallow the conversations amongst a work office work uh, area. They're <laughs> the most shallowest. You, you, you seen the office, them, right? You seen the office, I know, right? But I, 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 but I understand it because, bro, like I. No, that's what I meant. Is that what I'm talking about? Office, office space? Came up. That's when I got my... I, I, I was in college. Uh, you can move the stand space. if you want. Yeah. Okay. I got you. Producer Danny. We're going we're gonna to move. Uh, okay, that's what I've been meaning to do. Anywho. Yeah, go ahead. When I was uh, working... Uh, I was in college and I was working in an office. It's called Suntron Electronics. <laughs> out in Sugar Land. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, they made uh they made the tools, okay, that fix the machines that make like that made the Intel Pentium processor. Oh shit. And yeah, like this is what this company existed for. So like those things that made those microchips. Yeah. They had very intricate machines to do. And the machines would break just like any other machine. And these motherfuckers had a they made the tools and the mechanisms that fix the machines. I, I was so wild out by just the shit. And it seemed, in, it seemed interesting to me when I was doing the interview. I was like, whoa, really? Man, this job, I'm 19. Word up. This is dope as fuck. You know? This is crazy. Like, I'm right there in it. Yeah, right, right. I'm working with applied materials and fucking Intel. That <laughs> was the most boring, banal fucking place ever. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, no, I, I, no, I no but... No, but yeah, but cubicle. see, but see, I was gonna say something. Waiting for people to call because I I feel that's what separates like Ethiopians working in the fucking uh, on the line. I on I, the, I, uh, I on the assembly line. I I, wow, I but I feel it, it separates the fact that you noticed it, and then you were able to acknowledge the fact after the fact, like yo, like like it's a very good job. It outside looking in but then sucks. yeah but <laughs> can we not sugarcoat this shit like no I, and i i've i've, it I've done that sucks. a lot it i i, I always sucks. do that yeah well the summer before oh man and we were changing out water meter i was fucking going in there digging dishes changing the water meter right uh -huh. it was hot fucking crazy but that was so, i was like i wanted to, i was like no nah, fuck that I i'm gonna load up everybody, everybody again Oh, yeah. It was so much better than working in the office. Oh, I'm still in there. My last job was cool. It was sucked because it was in a cubicle, but the people were cool. Yes. But but I remember, so, uh, yeah, I, I had a, I, after I left the pawn shop, I worked in a series of call centers. And, like, I, bro, like, like, I went to one, I went to one, uh, one call center. What fucking happened there? There was some crazy shit. Um, it's just I feel like that's where you went to fucking die. Yeah. Like I just felt like I was like not even a human. You know, like you would get like some of like you would get people trying to scam you. Like I worked for you know the insurance company for the phone when you when your phone breaks or cracks you you make a claim so they can replace. Thank you. Uh, so that they could replace it. And like the only cool thing about that job was getting the scam calls because they were interesting. Like you would get like a you would get like a like a like an Indian dude saying his name is like my name is John Smith yeah, and I'm like yeah. motherfucker your name ain't John Smith like, your name ain't John Smith no. yeah. I was like spell it <laughs> and uh, yeah yeah I'm with the yeah and I'm John like, Smith so they 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 get their dude their people's information and they would like they would uh call in and be like hey uh, my phone is stolen and I want to get it replaced and they they would put their names in I'm like hey okay well. We just need you to submit an ID, like, because I know this is a scam, and they'll just instantly go from, "Hey, how are you doing?" to, "Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, bitch," and they'll hang up. And I'm like, "That was the funnest part of my day." Yeah. Everything else sucks. Yeah. You know, everything sucks. I worked. So I worked. It was a call center with 
other call centers. It was like a center of centers. Yeah, yeah. And I went from one company to another one. Right in the same building. In the same building. It was called Sudden Link. They're like, do you want Sundays off? And I was like, fuck yes. Fuck Thank you. I want Sundays off. Come to Sudden Link. So I went to Sudden Link. It's a, ca- it's a cable so company. Up. Sudden Link, bro. You want Sunday off? We don't work on Sunday. Yeah. So I was like, deal. <laughs> I was like, deal. Are you fucking deal, bro? That's what I was part of you. Yeah. They, they, out- they outsource their call centers to us. And they'll have their big wigs come down and just, like, be so, like, condescending to us. Like, these people are, like, they're making, like, you know, $20 an hour, $25 an hour. We're making nine, eight, fifty an hour. And then they're just going. And, like, this one guy during training, he would literally just go up there and just record his motivational speech to us. So that way he could post it on his YouTube channel that I'm a motivational speaker. And I'm like... Bro, can you show me how to fix this guy's cable box? Yeah, no, like, I, I don't give a fuck about you. Okay, your son has Asperger's and you're a hero. Good fucking for uh, you. You know, I'm like, yeah. yeah, I'm like, what does that got to do with me answering this fucking phone? Yeah, did he lead with that all the time? Yes, he's like, he my like, son has Asperger's, has Asperger's and it's a challenge. Yeah, and, it's a challenge. And, and But every day I get up and it's just like, you pay me $9 an hour. Yeah. You don't pay me enough <laughs> to give a fuck about your Asperger son. Nah, I'm like, yeah. he just doesn't have a sense of humor. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wonder why you're a motivational speaker. Exactly. Maybe if you had like a, a different form of disability, you might have been become a fucking stand up, you know, or something. Yeah, you know, like something. fuck. What diseases his son have? Asperger's. That's like the one where you just have no emotion. You're just like I mean it's like heavy autism. It's like a I, I always feel like that's a very low quality of a person when you have to bring up personal like okay. medical information. I saw, I, saw, I saw what you said. I saw what you did. I see like, wait, where are you going here? He's like, that's a low quality person. That's a low quality person. We should get rid of them. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, no, no. I, no, I'm saying. <laughs> no, I meant the person, like the person to lead to lead with that. Yeah, to lead with that. I, I know what you mean. He's got the, he's got the sleeve on. That's what well, I meant. Yeah. See, that's why he was telling y'all. He was like, look. Like, man, you should if, appreciate if, this. If yeah. my son can make it through Asperger's, <clears throat> you can answer these phones. Yeah. Leave me the fuck alone. Bro, oh, yeah. it, I hated it. Yeah. I hated it's it. that kind of motivational speech. It was terrible. Yeah. And it's then, like, Tyler has to go through this every day. That's what I meant. Like, like yeah. It's like, yeah. To the phone. He's a shitty person. He's got very desperate to, to bring out his personal, to bring it. it it's almost like, I think it's called a... Uh, Personal disclosure or whatever the fuck you want to call that, it. That's or. why I feel like people in higher up positions are very shitty people. Uh, because like everyone that I worked with has been like a shitty person. When I was at the pawn shop yeah. and I had the district the district manager there all the time, you, you see him like, oh, he's such a nice guy, blah, 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 whatever. <laughs> and, then, and then he'll come in and give us these pep talks. And he's like, if a lady comes in here and she's trying to pawn her son's Xbox... And she needs three hundred dollars, and you only got a, and you only could give her a hundred. Just look at what she's wearing. Like, hey, well, uh, I see you got a ring on. Can I take that ring? Oh, what? It's like, oh, it's like, what about some of your grandmother's rings? Like, I'm sure she's got. Bro, yes. And like, he's like, I, ma'am, like, can take, you step away and twirl around? Yeah, just turn around. Those shoes are lovely. Like, you know, like, bro, like this guy just wanted me to take these motherfuckers to the cleaners, and I'm like, bro, I'm walking every day to work. I, I don't even have nothing to pawn myself. You know, like I'm in the same boat as these fucking uh, people, you dickhead. Oh man. That's, and and that's like hilarious. one day They're like training you to be like it, I worked um, at Easy Pawn and uh, down the street was Cash America. They were like Mondo Burger and we we're a good burger. Right, right. So they were popping all the fucking time. One time they had a little tent sale and their yearly sale where they're just like giving out food. They have a fucking circ giving out all kinds of bullshit prizes, iPads and shit. So everyone's over there. And my manager, my district manager, like, hey, Here's some flyers. We're going to throw a sale on the same day. I need you to go over there to their store and hand out these flyers to their customers. And I'm like, you got life fucked up. Yeah. I was like, I'm not doing that. Yeah. And he's like, you know, this job, it takes a lot. You know, it's not for everybody. And I'm like, you're right. It's not. <clears throat> you know what happened to him? He, the only joy he had, the only joy he had outside of the pawn shop, this is how you know it's miserable, was he was overweight and he liked to race motorcycles. Yeah. Like crotch rockets, yeah. you know, and he loved it. He had a picture of him on his fucking laptop with his fat ass on a fucking motorcycle. America. Like he, yeah, bro. Like he was like leaning all the way to, you know, damn near touching the floor. I'm like, I don't know how that's possible yeah. for you to do that. Right. And bro, I left. I came back. I was like, what happened? To, what's his name? He's like, 
oh, he died. Are you serious? And I'm like, how did he die? He's like, he died in a motorcycle accident. Are you fucking serious? I'm not joking. Bro. I'm not joking. Me and my friend Marcus, we were, you know Marcus, I'm from Bel Air. We were counting dudes. We counted like the people we knew who died in motorcycle accidents. It was like 20. Yeah. Like directly and indirectly, but people. Were oh, that y'all knew. Okay. But but even but but I think, I mean, I'm going back to the district manager. The district manager, right? Yeah. Uh, maybe maybe that karma shit fucked with like you know. No no no, he was riding motorcycles. You, no no no, but I'm just saying like your your karma level is already fucked up because you're telling the homeboy to like, hey man, like if they come in, bro, like see what else you can get out of their ass. Yeah, like they. And then maybe he like. But that's his business. He went into. No no no. <laughs> he was a general manager for the pawn shop. No 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 I, no no I, and I okay, and I. How do you make it a no, and I, and I agree, yeah, yeah. no, and I agree with that. And I, they were like, "Yo, they were like, Mark, yo, 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 yo. I, I just saw that." But but we're I, putting you in the management <laughs> training. Office. No, and, and, was and like, yo, like, I can, like some lady came in there with a Sega Genesis, like, yo, and he's like, "I'll give you forty two dollars." It's just like, like but that. I need a hundred. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> basically, yeah, basically. Is that 24? Yeah, all right. Yeah, right? And my daughter's pictures in it. Like, hey, man, you know. You know you're going to get it out. You're going to get it back. <laughs> you're going to get it back. <laughs> you're going to get it back. <laughs> <laughs> you said they're about to they're about to yeah. evict they're about to evict you? Do you love your daughter at this moment? <laughs> like, you know, like, <laughs> no. But but that's what I'm saying. That karma is writing up on his ass. And then then and then then no. And then what happened? He went and got the fucking motorcycle. I just, I, it's just ironic that the, the whole point of the thing is it's ironic that the only joy outside of that fucking miserable life was a motorcycle that killed him. No, no, no. But 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 then again, I still yeah, I, 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 I'm, but I but I still feel like the guy was honestly doing a very honest job. I mean, he was working, like you said, as a district yeah. manager. He was going for the product of telling yeah. his employees, hey, man, he try to, to get him for more. The business. Dude, to make, then he went vroom vroom and then. For fucking cash America, pawn, and <laughs> Okay, That's some years. Throat, you do, you do, you do. Come up in that industry. There was yeah. one guy. There was one, I had a How man. Lead a cartel, right? Oh come no, up. but that's even oh, the that's same. Cool that's yeah. even the same. That'll like kill people. <laughs> but that's even like the, the same. Manager at a car dealership. That's a horrible man. <laughs> 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 horrible person. Yeah. 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 He's like, man. and he's got to say, I got some yeah. great news. Yeah. We got, we got an offer from one bank. It's forty five percent interest. Just, just pay it off for five years, and it'll be thirty five. Forty five percent to the dollar. Yeah. And you know what so happens? You know we can pay it off in eight years. You know yeah. it's fine. You know. <laughs> the car won't be worth anything in the eight yeah. years, but you know you'll still be paying me, yeah, so it's man. fine. You know. I see your point. I just saw that the guy was a piece of shit individual. No, that's a good point. That's a good point. But then this this kind of goes back in our no no, but this goes back in our conversations of having confidence, going up on stand up, (laughs) dying a motorcycle accident, (laughs) being 120 pounds overweight and and riding a crotch rocket. Well, Life's yeah. a risk or not. Yeah, I, my yeah. my other uh, my other little tale was uh, Kevin Samuels. Y'all heard of Kevin Samuels, obviously. Yeah, yeah. And I think he r- rode that karma karma tale for a little. Yeah, <sighs> oh, really? Kevin okay. See, I didn't know if it was. You want the red pill guy? Yeah. yeah. The dude who'd be like, "What's your dress size?" Yeah. <laughs> he goes, "Well, no, but <laughs> he he no, yeah. but <laughs> I I respect just anybody who's willing to make who's making a dollar balls. who's just talking, Shit, yeah. puts a fucking mic and just talks. Hey, I'm over here. In a bottle, like dudes that hate women, and that's a, it can be lucrative. Like we can come on this bitch, and be like, yeah, man, these women like look at Instagram, it's fucked up. No, exactly. Like, what are you talking about? Get off your phone and in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, <laughs> <laughs> no, but but I'm I'm saying like he 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 brought out a lot of truth. But then, like I said, I believe in this whole fucking karma thing, where that he he rode this whole karma tale. And you think he died because of it? No, I'm not saying. I'm he just saying. 
No, I'm just going back to the whole thing of like, like you know, when, when you go to bed at, you know, whatever. I don't know, you know. I mean, okay. I mean, I'm not saying I ain't perfect either, though. I'm not perfect. <laughs> well, it so happened it was a nurse. A nurse was with them. Oh, they they them. gave him the Michael Jackson cocktail. Well, no, Michael Jackson was totally different. That dude had to be comatose to be yeah. put to sleep. That's Michael crazy. Got high. <sighs> but no, no, no. But then, but then I'm I'm taking a high like a mark on what you said earlier about like like uh, people being very successful, rich. You know, yeah. like it kind of ends up being bad in the long run. You know. Not for everybody. I don't know. I, okay, I don't know, you, man. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I, I just, I feel like if if the success is thrown at you, cool, take it. Yeah. But then, like, when you're like, people are like thinking, 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 and it's how they you get deal to, with it. That's how you deal with it. But I just feel like to the individuals, to the individual who makes it, like, damn. I, I mean, it's a lot of pressure. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Of course, a lot of pressure. Of course it is. And then it just depends. How they fucking pan it out. Like Kevin Samuels, he was riding, man. Kevin Samuels, even uh, fucking District Manager, uh, the pawn shop. Motherfucker was riding high, dog. Fool was like, yo, I got this shit paid for. <laughs> Bro, he, <was laughs> he goes, yo, man, I got my workers fucking taking everything they can from these motherfuckers you know, on the streets my in Houston. Skins, my little minions on the street just fucking. I go, Houston booming right now. Fucking Bro. COVID and shit, you well, know? I, I was there before COVID. No, okay, oh, okay. So when I went back, I had left the pawn shop and I came back and I went to Cash America, the competitor, and the manager there, he was like some, some, like, he used to be a carpenter like and he was just like he was like i'm tired of being working like a slave i'm gonna fucking be in a pawn shop yeah and and so literally it was a really busy day and it was like my first week there and there was a long line and i couldn't get on the register yet because they wouldn't let me even though i knew how to do it (laughs) and like i was like man where are y'all at so i went in the back i was like where's what's his name as like he just walked out the back door and I was like, what do you mean? Like, he quit. <laughs> and I was like, for real? Why? He goes, he said, he's just like, fuck this. I'm going to do carpeting. Like, this is cut. Like, he just, and now he has his business and he's thriving. So, you know. That's what I'm saying. Maybe yeah, he took that he optimism. He took the right road. It, okay, you could almost see it. You could almost see If you're, you're a Pulp Fiction fan, you've seen Pulp Fiction? Oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Okay, so Jules, John Travolta, Samuel Jack, they took two different routes. No. One led to getting fucking shot on the shitter. Yeah. Shot on the shitter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, and he was. Yeah, it was dumb. It was dumb. I was like, what the fuck, really? <laughs> 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 like, what the fuck? He just got too comfortable. He did. That's no, no, but, but, but no, it's a good point what you brought up, though. Yeah. It's, it's, it, no, but it's a good point, though, because that that's what I said. That's my whole point, what I'm saying you're, is you're like. Two, two roads. Two you, roads. That full, like, like, that, Y'all that, have the same shit. Samuel was already thinking, his character was already thinking ahead, like, man, if I keep going, like, man, we just missed some fucking bullets. Like, if we keep going this road, yo, bro, my shit's around the corner. It's around the corner. I die like a samurai. And then and then the way Tarantino arranged the movie, obviously, you don't find out to the very end, like, oh, okay. But but in the movie, you know, like I I I, I agree. I totally agree to that point. Yeah. No, but but like you're saying, I go, I go, no, but I go back to what you were fucking saying of saying like, like, why did you leave your gun in the fucking? Why? What the fuck? And then no, but he didn't leave the book. He didn't leave the fucking book because he, he loved that fucking. Shit? He was reading that that fucking book, you know. He was reading a, a Pope Fiction book. <laughs> well, no, it wasn't the Pope. Pope Fiction is like a, I think, a form of a novel. Yeah, form, yeah, yeah, a yeah. Novel, like an, old school like an old school short story yeah. kind of shit. He was reading one. Um, uh, that movie's great. Yeah. Other than that, other than that, but that movie's great. So it's it's funny you bring that movie up. Yeah, I. Uh, I was born when it came out. I mean, I, I don't even want to name the guys I went with to the game. I mean, to that game. To I'm sorry, to the movie. But we we, we no, we got dropped. I got dropped off uh, at Meyer Park. Meyer Park. Yeah, Meyer Park. Oh shit. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we went. Yo, the old as fuck. We yeah, went. Actually. We went to Pop. We went to a Chili's. 
Chili's to eat, and then we went into the movie theater. We were supposed to go to one movie. Yeah, we didn't go to that movie. That theater. We went to fucking yeah, of Pulp course, Fiction. Of course. You all, that's Pulp true. Fiction, bro. Yeah. I, 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 I saw, I saw everything in a nutshell of, of this world was what was to come. I guess I don't fucking know. You know, there's movies that change your life. There, there really is. I, I uh, okay, so uh, the movie that changed my life forever was when I was. It was, it was 1997, and George Lucas just re-released the remastered VHS box set to Star Wars. Yeah. But to <laughs> what year it, was this? Pro- this is 97. Wow. So I was four. Four years old. I remember it. Though. You remember I this rem- shit? I swear to God. I swear to God. <laughs> so um, I... I um, <clears throat> they re-released They re-released one of them in the movie theaters. Yeah. And my mom took me to watch it. And since that day, I've never been the same. Like, I was like, oh, this is the direction my <laughs> mind is going to go. And then, of course, now that I got older, I'm like, I'm, I'm I like, honestly, I'm a fucking nerd for movies. Um, but I really, I love old movies, dude. Like, Halloween time, I'm watching, I'm I watching, get made fun I'm of watching the classic 30s, 40s, universal yeah. mo- horror movies. Yeah. Um, I like watching shit like American Werewolf in London, you know, Evil Dead, oh, Evil Dead Two, American Werewolf in London. The director was the same director to the Michael Jackson Thriller video. Did you ever see Hostel? I forgot his name. Hostel? Oh, yeah, yeah. The first one? Yeah, that's not really old, but I remember it though. Yeah, not old, but I mean, it's one. I seen part two. That one's really fucked up. Um, but no, I mean, like some of the movies, like yeah, obviously, you get, <laughs> you get like yeah. A co-worker always used to get on my ass because she was like, oh, you just like old movies because you're old. And I'm like, yo, man, like, I feel like all the movies nowadays are just repeated. Re- and repeated. now, nowadays, it's just uh, remakes and this. Yeah, and exactly. Bringing the old cast back. And every, every fucking movie is a giant sack of memor- memory berries shit. You know, like, <clears throat> it's so god awful. Like, every time you see a trailer and you know it's a remake or like, a no, I feel we were or some shit. Yeah, I think about going to the movies, and I'm like, you know what? I'll just watch Goodfellas again. <laughs> Bro. Bro. I watch The Godfather. Fuck yeah, it. Yeah, like, why? <laughs> yeah. You know, um, this movie I went to go see in the theater. What movie was that? For fucking uh, nostalgia. Top Gun Maverick. Oh, oh no, that's the, that, that was, I, no. Top Gun changed my life. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 I was like no, six yeah. or seven when that shit came. Yeah. There were so many movies that were over the top. Well, well, the, a, a, sh- a shout out. Oh well, it's like seven or eight when that shit came out. We used to love that, bro. Well, a shout out to the uh, that uh, movie though. But the I, I was in the navy, so like uh, that was like uh, I I I've, I've almost cried a few times on the beginning of the movie. What over the top? Over the top? <laughs> no, no, Maverick, like the movie oh, Maverick. Oh, yeah, 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 I thought yeah. you said over the top. I was oh, like, no, you? no, over the top is a good movie too. Yeah. You almost cried then? Yeah, because like the beginning. I was I was on that earlier. I was on that early when they when they came out with the when they came out with the new Star Wars Force Awakens and I watched the trailer for the first time and the second they showed fucking Chewie and Han I was like oh we're home I was like <laughs> oh my god and then I watched it I'm like oh my god but like you know just it but see I can't even go back to where uh, just to keep me occupied my dad and mom. One or the other, they would drive me up the street to like this little video rental place. Oh, yeah. It wasn't Blockbuster. It was one. Nah, of the, it was one. Of the, yes, it was one of the. It was one yeah. of the ghetto yeah. ones. Hollywood video. Yeah, no, but no, no. This is like no. This is around the block. Bro, like I literally remember, around the block. I, I got, up the street. Yeah. And then my, my dad, my dad would be like, "All right, you ready?" And I'm like, "Yeah, let's go." And dude. Like, even though I had already seen this fucking movie more than a few times, I would, like, already have my shit lined up. I had the popcorn ready. I was thinking maybe I had, like, a Dr. Pepper or whatever already in the I think when they gave us the options, it really ruined it for us. Nah. The, the endless options that no, you no, have for No, no, everything. no, but you're right because, but, but, but. The Blockbuster, kick- you, you, when you went to a, home, a theater, a home, I mean, a fucking video store that you rented shit, you had, you had. The the okay parents that let you get one fucking movie for a yeah. fucking for a weekend, or you could get one dad and one video game, and you had to fucking choose. Like yeah, you had yeah, to yeah. really choose. Yeah. Now we're just forever scrolling through Netflix, and yeah. before you know it, like ah, oh, I'm not gonna watch it. And then you I just mean, but, uh, yeah, because it's, it's fucked up. Number one, it's too easy to make a movie. Yeah. And then they just 
You can't even keep up. Like everybody's watching a different show on a different. I can't Did, keep up. I can't watch Paramount Plus and all this fucking shit. Hell no. And there's no way. Like I, you know, like you know, you pick your show. And then there's shows that other fools are into. And like, everybody probably. has a fucking show yeah. that they just want to, they just want to indoctrinate you on. Yeah. So Ooh, that way, bro, watch Yellowstone. It's Kevin Costner. I'm like, okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I'm not even a Dancing fan of Kevin Costner. Waterworld? Like, yeah, huh? No, he's a real. <laughs> yeah, Waterworld. <laughs> you like Waterworld? Oh, I'm not a Kevin Costner fan. I Me mean, neither. I'm oh, really, dog? dog? Come on, dog. Uh, no. Dance of the Wolves? It's a great thing. Come on, bro. Untouchables? I didn't really like it. I, I didn't like it. Because, no, but I, I'm looking at the yeah, but the other part of it. He just found a niche and he got I it. I guess. And now he's a real cowboy. Yeah, Bull Durham. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't yell a song, never catch. You know, you know what really opened my eyes to the bullshit of, like, fandom? Was Game of Thrones. Okay, yeah. Because... Game of Thrones, whether you liked it or not, it took the world by fucking storm. You know, like yeah. it was the adult Harry yeah, Potter. It was the adult Harry Potter. Like you know what so I'm saying? Based, it did. He, he, yeah, exactly. You know, like, yeah. What the fuck does that mean? It means shit's going down. Yeah, yeah it means <laughs> shit going down. I never. I, <laughs> Bro, I, never, I, 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 I still haven't seen Game of Thrones. I watched yeah. all the videos to the lore. I knew, like, I'm like, oh, that's, what's his name? Second cousin. And Bob, <laughs> I'm like, I don't even remember his name. Like, and, like, it, everything led up to the last episode. There was that kind of show. And that's okay, because you want an ending. Did they restart but, it? Then, no. Um, but it ended so horribly because the, the, they, the, uh, the writers of the show were writing the show faster than the books were coming out. So they were just like doing whatever the fuck they wanted yeah. at the end. They're like, we need to wrap this shit up. Yeah. And they just like crunched up two, three seasons and one season just, and just did one of those boring, like they're the ghetto hood movies where like, and what's his name? Got a scholarship to football. Yeah, yeah, they right. did one of them numbers, bro. <laughs> I was like, dude, Jon yeah. Snow just yeah. disappeared and said he <laughs> fucked wildlings for the rest of his Man, life. But that was cool though. That was, my fast. Okay, you know Fast Times Richmond High, but my Fast Times at Richmond High is super bad. I love super bad. Too. Bro, bro man, nah, yeah. my mine would be. I, I didn't even watch, really watch Fast Times Richmond High. Oh, to man, that movie's no, my my great. no, mine is Days Confused, bro. Of course, but Fast Times is a true eighties movie. Yeah. Oh, Days yeah, yeah, Confused yeah. is a nineties movie disguised right, as a seventies movie. Yeah, yeah. and, and uh, you know when I was so stupid. Yeah, when when I first watched that no, movie, Austin, around there, somewhere's fucking in Texas. That's terrible. That <laughs> it was Austin. No, no, yeah. no, I, no, I don't know if he's from Huntsville. No, no, I thought you meant it was shot. No, it was shot in Austin. That's all I was saying. It was shot in Austin. <clears throat> <Hey>. <laughs> right, my, my aunt. Talk my aunt would tell I love that movie because like my aunts and shit the one who shoplift she's like yeah school was like that when we were in school I was like man that's fucking cool they don't do that shit now no one awesome. no one got bullied I mean no one gets bullied now like you know like back then they would yeah, they would let the freshmen know now. like you're in for a fucking world of hurt and stay in your fucking place they don't do that no more but yet again there was another point I've been bringing up in the podcast is that I this is the last of the last like there's as in, like, communicating, people being physically face to face, communicating, you know, going to stand up, seeing all that. It's the last of the last. I feel like, in, like, give it like 10, 15 years, man, it's going to be a little different. Of course. Yeah, it's going to be changes. way different. Everything and I, I can only imagine, like. <sighs> That's why you don't get stagnant now. Like, you got to go with the wave, you know? I mean, that, and, and I mean, that's the whole point of the podcast, too, because, like I said, it, it, I mean, De depending what's going on, but it, I, I feel just everything is getting disconnected. What was that? Yeah, everything. You're right. Yeah, everything is disconnected. <laughs> was that you're, right? You're right. Of course you were. How stupid am I? <laughs> you're right, dude. No, nah, I know you were right. No, you were right. Oh, Austin. Yeah, high five. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I knew he's See, he's I'm trying trying, he's trying to run for uh, mayor. Yeah, he's trying to run for mayor, I no, believe governor. now. Governor. Oh no, I I don't know if he's announced that he's gonna run, but he might run. I mean, who knows? Governor. I mean, if Arnold Schwarzenegger could be fucking governor of California. Yeah, no. and Arnold's got dirt on him. You ever seen Pumping Iron? 
Course, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, it feels like coming. It feels like coming. He's like, every day I'm coming. Every day I'm coming. I lay brick and I come in the gym. Like, yeah. Yeah, he goes, like, adrenaline. He goes, ah, oh, it just feels relative. Like, yeah. like you're just like, oh. Bro, his Netflix shit is good, bro. Is it? I, it was, it's like that. You know, they, they came out that little Kanye doc on Netflix. It's kind of like that, but for Arnold. But it's, okay. bro, it's it's really good. Back. I love watching about people that, that come up like that. I'm like, that's fucking. During, I, I, for some reason, I just remember him during, like, right when COVID had officially started. He's one of the first guys that jumped on Instagram. Hey. Fool was like in his hot tub, like it looked like Colorado yeah. around a bunch of trees, like oh, his house, fucking crazy. cabin yeah. kind of look. It's crazy. He's like, <laughs> fool had like a fat cigar. Yeah, he's like, fool's like, he's like, I I don't see what the problem is with people being at home. I'm like, and then all 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 of a sudden, all the comments, all all the comments on the. No, but it was funny. All the comments on the bottom were like, "Yeah, fuck you, asshole!" Like you, 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 you're, you know. Yeah. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Your dad was a fucking Nazi. Like, his, his dad was really. Great story. Yeah, he his was dad right. was a Nazi and became governor of California. I didn't know that. Well, he, okay, be technical. He was a police officer. Yeah, yeah. He was a police officer during the Nazi regime in Austria, and that's when the Nazis were occupied. Austria. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I made it sound like he was like fucking. He was like in there, like. Yeah, he definitely did. He's like, no, that's what I meant. That's what you're saying. I was like, oh damn. I'm just doing my job. I was following orders. I was following orders. Now it's so funny though how all your Schwarzenegger got out of that shit though. You know. He said, "Fuck this." He's like, "Y'all over yodeling and fucking carrying milk to the fucking mountain base." Fuck this. I love I love making fun of like Swiss you know mountain people, yeah. Because I love the movie Sound of Music. Do you? I love it. Okay. Because I love like I love looking at bro. I'm telling my mom. It's my mom. My mom got me into that. So like every it, Sound of Music, be, bro, really? bro. Julie, Julie Andrews, <laughs> Julie Andrews. How how old were you when you watched this? I was like probably five or no, something. See, but, yeah. Danny, you remember when we were young? That was a, that was like a, a movie that you put no. on during school. No, 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 no. I, 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 I can, I can see him, but it's it just, was like some Christmas shit. Dude, yes. I hadn't heard. Yeah. Like, that was like oh, some special fucking, and it was like ABC would have it, and it was like, oh shit, sound of music. Yeah, like, everyone's got a. Because you know what, you couldn't just pull that bitch out. Nope. They played that when they played. It. Yep. And you had to watch it, just like The Wizard of Oz. It was like a special event. They would redo the wizard, not redo it, but just show the old wizard. <laughs> extra color. Like, oh shit! My my uh my mom, she told me she remembers when the uh the the thriller m- music video came out, yeah. and she said that was like an event that yeah. all of her friends planned. You know, at my at my house, apparently they're the only ones that had MTV, so like everyone was at their house or fucking wow over a music video, Dude, a fucking no, but that that video. but th- that's what I'm saying. It's like I, I think that's beautiful because yeah, it's like it's at amazing. the time people were like, yeah, man, I, I play it. like I I I, the appreci- yeah, the I pay I pay monthly, so come well, over. Yeah. <laughs> That's a badass music video. Wesley Snipes. Fucking film. Bro, it was great. And people tuned in. They were like, fucking bad is coming out. And that black or white, all of that. Like Michael Jackson thing, mm. people don't understand. I remember when Michael Jackson died, my nephew was like eight. He was like, I don't even understand why everybody's like, Man, making a big deal. Di- <laughs> 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 if you were lucky. Never. If you were lucky, he would have molested Every, you. Yeah. Yeah. Michael Jackson, he's the Super Bowl. That's why they came with Super Bowl halftime. Bro. Michael Jackson video. Uh, that dude, tur- that dude turned his that dude turned his head and yeah. just the he just stood there and the second he turned his head. Yeah. <sighs> just crazy. But see, but like we used to have to watch MTV, and no matter what style of music you like. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I, I remember that. I, I remember 106 in Park. Yeah. But even, but, but like, I'm talking, no, fuck that. I'm talking about MTV when they showed nothing but videos. During oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in the day, so like, nothing but videos. Like, you, it, like, like you just yeah, I know throw on mean. that shit and then you're like, boom. Like, yeah, just yeah, you were like, MTV. Yo, I really want to see fucking uh, uh, nothing but a G time. But you'd have to watch fucking Guns N' Roses. And they'll give you a few, but like, songs coming up. Like, they'll, oh, yeah, they'll yeah, do yeah, yeah. 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 
duck and sheep, some Madonna, <laughs> some fucking, and you know what the fuck yeah. is going on. Yeah. Like, okay, well, white people doing? <laughs> that's how they kept. That's how they kept the minorities. <laughs> that we right. need their audience. We understood each other. Yeah, yeah. But now, when you're a kid growing up, and you can be like, I just want to hear all NBA young boys. Let me just go to YouTube and, and just. To that, you know, like, so, and now my algorithm is taking over because now I just listen to the same shit all the time. You know. I, I mean, on Spotify, it's the same thing. Like you just let it. Yeah, ride true. You just. Yeah, I can appreciate. You know, I, I noticed a weird thing. Uh. You ever been to Cidercade? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, okay, you know it's an arcade place where it's like yeah. every arcade game from your childhood, fucking ten dollars, all you can fucking play. Right. I, amazing. I was like, bro, I haven't been to an arcade since I was a fucking kid. I'm gonna go there for my two old birthday, and and it was great. I liked it. Like I was, but the problem there was a problem with it. The, the problem I was having was. I would be playing, you know, the the fucking Simpsons fucking beat 'em up game, you know, whatever the fuck, you know, uh, Donkey Kong or whatever. I'm playing it. I playing it for like tops five minutes, and I'm like, eh, let me just go to the next one. Yeah. Uh, let me just go to the next one. And I realized like the token is more of a, a token of of attention yeah. and appreciation, because like the token is what kept your quarters, what kept you there, right. you know, not your attention. You know what I mean, like. I don't know. It just kind of like made me realize, like, damn, this is over. Yeah. Like, no, I I went there and I, I kind of felt the same feeling. I was like, because you could just pop wherever. And they only <laughs> and they only serve cidercade. Yeah. You no. Know, well, what would make it cool if they cider, serve cider, beer? Not cider. Uh, they, it's called cidercade because they only serve <laughs> cider. And so when I went there, I was like, hey, I got some beers. We got some cider. And after two, I was like, dude, I'm burning a hole in my intestines, bro. Like, no, yeah, like, that's, you know, like I that cider eats you up. Man. Yeah, dude. Like, have you ever took a swig of some apple cider vinegar and it just fucked you up? But two cups of it, you're just fucking like, bro. I, I just would like to understand, like, who made that decision not to serve. It, it was a bad there. idea. Yeah, because they're like, no, I think it would be cool to leave to where it is on there, and just but like, to have other options. <laughs> Oh, it's no, no, so but even if, like, because apparently they're like, yo, we produce our own cider, so drink yeah. our own cider. Great. I'm like, yeah. why not just produce your own beer now? Yeah, I know. There's I have something for people who were born after 1830. And then, bro, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like, I don't want to be Are you going to serve wine? Are we gonna, I don't want to be We can see Grandma crush cider. it with her feet in the back or what? What the fuck? I mean, it's a cool idea. Yeah, I love yeah. small businesses like that. It's just like, it's yo. Cheap. Yeah. You know how many brew? You know people love breweries. Mm-hmm. People love breweries. No, that, that, but like I said, it just makes yeah. you wonder. These yeah, invest. I mean, I, I know there's multiple investors for that place. You know, <laughs> multiple investors at that place. But yeah, yeah. You know, that, that's a cool cheap <clears throat> date spot. That's where like that's usually my preliminary date spot. I'm gonna take you there first. Yeah, exactly. That was another I'll, question. Cause, so cause you're not gonna so, get me so are money. you dating yeah. now or what? Am I dating? Not really. You know, um, I because I've seen you out there. Bro, don't be putting me out there like I've that. I've seen you like, out there. Don't be me out there like that. <laughs> <laughs> every, every, everyone always tells you that. They're like, bro, I'll be seeing you be talking to these hoes. I'm like, bro, they, you know, no, it's all like, good, I bro. Just don't, I just don't. I'll talk to anybody. It's all good, man. No, and, it's all good. I'm just it's, saying. People, I'm just a people out, person. You know? It's just, I'm just extra flirty. I'm just extra, you know, with the ladies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but as we should. You know, I don't know what's going to happen, but. I'll plant the seed. We'll see if it grows. Yeah. You know? <laughs> nah, but I mean, you tell them, like, yo, man, I'm doing my open mic, you know? Hey, they see me out there. It's pretty cool. Like, I met, you know, a lot of cool people doing stand-up. Uh, uh, I'm, some of the friends I'm closest with now are doing stand-up. And, like, even people that don't do stand-up, they, they fucking uh, they hit me up and shit. So well, no, that's cool. how I met you. Like I said, I saw you at Secret Group, and then I later I was like, yo, bro, that was a good set. And you're like, thanks, man. And then, uh, and then I think it was another night. I finished doing Marlowe's podcast, so and then I was there that night, and then I ran into you, and you were like, yo, bro, what's up, man? Like, Where the fuck like, you invite, been at? like invite me. Oh, and, yeah, yeah. And, that, yeah, yeah that, that's right. Dude, that's what I was saying, yeah, dude. It's been you, a minute, I bro. You, I got you. It's been a minute, I, man. I know. I, I, I'm, I'm a, uh, I've, been, I've been in two different places. I'll be, out there. I'll be where, back. Where, where I got recognized, and that felt cool. I, I was at a bar. And it, was both, it was always at a fucking bar. I was at a, one bar. And and then some guy walked up to me, and like I have a joke. I'm not gonna say it, but I have a joke about how I look like a certain person, okay. and like uh, I people told me this, so it's not like it's never like a, it's not, it's nothing I came up with. It's just that I would say like, oh man, this motherfucker said I look like this, 
and like people at the time it was kind of, it was like at the time it was like my funniest joke and so when i when i fucking was at the bar goes bro i know you dog you're fucking blah 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 and i was like that's not me. He goes, no, 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 no. You're a stand-up, and you said you looked like him. That was hilarious. <laughs> and then so, like, there was some chick, and she was talking to me at a bar, and she she was mainly focused on my homeboy, uh-huh. but the second, like, my homeboy was like, yeah, bro, he's fan. He's blah, 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 blah. And she goes, oh, are you now? And she started putting her hand on me, and so I was like, that's, <laughs> bro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> one, one time, I was doing, I was doing, uh, I was doing karaoke, and uh, some girl was, like, dancing on me, and like her boyfriend was there and she was trying to, he was trying to yank her off of me and she was just like, get off of me. Like just fucking leave me alone. And she was just fucking dancing on me. You didn't get no fight or nothing, did you? Bro, they don't, they don't want to dog. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't want to get in a fight, but I, you know, I ain't scared of shit. <laughs> I, 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 I truly believe like, like when you, when you speak on a mic or play guitar or play like anything dealing with, I don't know. I'm, it's public still a mystery to me. Public speaking is one of the biggest fears that we have as humans. But but I mean, Axel Rose, Guns and Roses. I mean that that's like another person from my generation. Like, yeah. pretty much like I said, had confidence, brought all that shit, whatever he had been through. Boom! Next thing you know, he's. Nay, I mean. See, but Axel Rose, like that was a good like. Well. Him. No, no, of course not. But but I'm just saying in, in general. But I'm yeah. just saying in general. But I mean, we can. I mean, but I, I mean, even before the fact, I go back to John Lennon. John Lennon being on my. I mean, girls just thought, oh my god. I mean, but you got to have that confidence, and he produced good music. You know, obviously, Axl Rose produced good music too. I'm just. I mean, I don't know. all that great music, all those bitches, fucking Yoko. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't know. He, yeah, he, I don't know. He got some fucked up shit on that one. Yeah. Man. I don't know what happened with there. Because every now and then on Insta, on on, on Insta, on Insta, Insta there. Well, no, terrible but, art. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but they they do the the narrative on Yoko that they produce is like saying that she broke she, out the band, which is always. But a lot of the actions. Um, he did. He did a. Uh, John Lennon was playing with Smokey Ro- Smokey Robinson, live. No, 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 Chuck Berry. I'm, so, I'm sorry, Chuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. So then, oh, like, Chuck Berry. Hey, pull it up. Can you pull it up on here? Yeah, I probably can. So then he, like, he, he, he uh, goes and he. Pretty much, I'm just gonna let it speak for itself. Yeah, now nah, put Chuck. Oh. So you think she made like an executive decision and just no. jumped on there and she they just... They were like, you know what, if John's on this shit, I can go solo. Especially Paul. Paul, like Ringo was probably like, hey man, hey man. Hey, let's, okay. let's work this out. Okay. <laughs> George Harrison went solo. Yeah. So Ringo was like, hey man, nah, I, like, she's not that bad. And everybody was like, fuck that, I can go solo. We're going solo. Paul McCartney's like, fuck, I don't like that motherfucker anyway. You don't like Paul McCartney? I love Paul McCartney. Oh, oh yeah, because apparently they did not get along no, whatsoever. How could, they, how could those two? How be could the same t- bro? That that's like that's like when they try to put Prince and Michael together. They it just could happen. not yeah. get along. Yeah, these two just happen to be like yeah. That's crazy. You can't have two like alpha alphas in the no, same. They but I mean like it's like like whose songs are we gonna sing? And George Harrison was a great songwriter once he left yeah. the Beatles, but he couldn't get like how many songs is George gonna get? None. You got Paul McCartney, and John none, Lennon writing none. songs. Like, how many are you gonna get through? The label's like, yeah, George, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll give you a shot. Yeah, Paul, what you got? Yeah. Okay, so this here, right? So John so Lennon we got is playing it. with Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry's one of the reasons why John Lennon picked up a fucking guitar. Oh, of course, he's the reason okay. why a lot of people. Picked a lot up of people, but definitely John Lennon. John Lennon, Godfather of Rock, right? Yeah, well, no, yes. no, well, no, him or uh, what's his name? Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, Little Richard, yeah, Richard. You know, obviously we got no sound to it, oh, but like no she's screaming. Well, no, she's turn the sound up. The man's got to hear the sound. Rewind. 
No, I think it, no, it gets. <laughs> they they cut their mic off. They cut her mic off. No, trying to mess her. I, I guess in her. I, I don't know. Like I said, just like maybe she was at, like I, I'm going back to what we were saying. Like she was attracted to him because obviously he's famous star John Lennon on the mic. Right. Very, well, of course she was attracted <clears throat> to him. Why no, was he but, attracted to her? No, no, no. But but that's what I'm saying. Knowing that that she was trying to like, what, what would be the word for it? Uh, no, she was just Trying to throw a monkey wrench in his in his in his in his, in his deal. He, he, she wasn't trying. She was crazy. She's yeah, stupid, bro. Yeah, I, 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 that caught me off guard. I was like, "What the fuck was that?" I can't believe you never seen that. Though. You never seen that? I've never seen Imagine that. Yeah, yeah. Though. I saw his face. <clears throat> I saw his fucking they did face. Not rehearse that. Bro, no, they cut her shit off quick. That and was, then this is before like like that was alive like a live. You know, yeah. play and you know they yeah. could. I bet that was like her moment. Shit, this is when I'm gonna get known and shit with Chuck Berry and. Yeah, but he did all kinds of weird shit with her. Yeah, he did. And he she did. was always naked with that terrible body. Yeah. yeah. Hey, acid could really. Yeah, you can, bro. I I love how like I love how like you see the evolution of the the Beatles, where like they went from a legit damn near a boy band. Yeah, they were. The twist and shout. Yeah, they were that version. To yeah. like. I read the news today, oh boy. And he's talking about someone <laughs> fucking blowing their head off in traffic. Like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, they started their hair right here. They were like, your hair's a bit long, isn't it, sir? Mm-hmm. Yeah, son. And it's they like, had like the, the, the beetle hair. Yeah, like, yeah. The beetle hair. <laughs> and then they just became totally fucking like, they went to Sergeant Pepper. <laughs> like, what the well, they were like. That's not the same people. That's when they were experimenting with uh, they cloned LSD. Yeah, and they, they were experimenting. Suits on, like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they had some cool shit in Sgt. Pepper's, but they just had to get in that I'm level. It was such a departure. Like, nowadays, you could not change that much. Like, no, no, no. The only you can't do that. The person who's changed that much is probably, I can think of as like Andre 3000. <laughs> the only person who made that. Like, he went from rapping about Kenton to what he became. Yeah, but even then, the I think it was still it was still a good deal he, though. He, he, ad- he still ad- kept the fan base. He adapted yeah. the Southern game. Yeah, no, he just went completely fucking ape shit wild, and like people yeah. were like, "Yeah, it was Andre. We don't give a fuck." And Big yeah. Boy stayed the same. Yeah, Big Boy. He was he was the the. This is where we came from. Yeah. Now. Yeah, but like, uh, but, but but Andre was respected, and look how yeah. the Beatles came. They were like. Uh, but a lot, but uh, back then, like, it, believe it, like they they were like boy, they're boy bands basically. They were a boy band. So so That's the Beatles, what boy band was back then, the yeah. Kinks, uh-huh. the Animals yeah. were a fucking boy band, yeah, and they, they and even Rolling Stones, they try to come them off as a boy band, yeah. and they're like these, there's too much drugs for them these to do boys, boy bands. Yeah. Like now, like now Disney has that shit on lock. Like you, we're not showing y'all shit. <laughs> well, now, well, now the boy bands are from Seoul. Uh, Who's that? They're Korean. Yeah, oh, K-pop. A, K-pop, K-pop is crazy the wild, bro. Internet, bro. I don't, bro, I don't I get it. I walk into Deerbrook Mall yeah. and they have a K-pop store. I'm yeah. like, are that? Are we getting invaded? <laughs> like, what the <laughs> fuck? Asian Backstreet Boys, what are you doing, bro? So, so, so the other that's true. The other story is that. Uh, like nobody's into Disney movies like we were growing up with. They're all remakes. Well, no, but I mean, you throw a kid a phone and no, nah, they show do, them. They got, I mean, I have nieces and nephews. They they still watch yeah. shit on there like, like they're little. But they're too. saying like like percentage and whatever. No, like no, they're more. Now, so yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that's what I'm but saying. Like they're ten, like our like 
every kid from now on, their attention span is it is what it is, Shit. and it is yeah, <laughs> yeah. <it's>, Shit. <laughs> so so it's not like when back in the day they would put a put us in front of pop in a VHS Cinderella. That my dad took me down to go rent or something. You know, I don't you know. Rented, I, I, I'm, rented, I'm not rented, saying I rented Cinderella. No, no, nah, nah, I didn't rent Cinderella. Uh, uh, see, to be fair, I had. I already. Your dad did not rent no, I'm just saying. Your dad a, did I was not. saying back to the story dad, I was saying earlier. Yeah, he oh, no, I didn't rent no Cinderella. <laughs> but my point is watching a Disney movie. I'm not. I didn't watch yeah, no yeah. fucking Cinderella. I had a collection but, <laughs> of fucking Disney movies, and one of them was Cinderella. But you know, yeah, but if like, anything, I would watch and repeat would be Dumbo. Dumbo, yeah, you know. Dumbo is great. Yeah. By the time you got there, like we would give, you would give away movies. But I'm saying, like even now, we, you know, if we put a child in front of Disney, Dumbo, Disney they're gonna walk off and be like, "Give me a phone," you know. D- Dumbo. Back, yeah, back, okay, back then. You had two choices with Disney. No, three choices. You remember when Disney had their little weird Western live action movies? Old Yeller. Uh, uh, what's his name? Came off. What's his name? Is a Disney star. Uh, fuck. What's the dude's name? Uh, Kurt, Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell is a Disney star. He was, he a was kid. in those movies, those fucking old Yeller type movies that Disney would release. And uh, but where was I going with this? I'm stoned still, kind of. Um, <laughs> Okay, no. So Disney basically back then had two choices. You were either going to watch a Disney princess or a movie with some racial insensitivity. Yeah. Because Dumbo had apparently... Dum- oh, I, I, heckle and Jack. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah Dumbo, Dumbo was had like some, filled no, with... I didn't, I didn't see it that way, but I mean... You I, didn't see it that way? Because I was a fucking kid. I didn't know what I was looking at. I was like, yeah, these I are mean, crow I, singing. Look, 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 look. Yeah. I used to watch Tom and Jerry when I was a kid. And Bro. that was very racist. Yeah. That's like... <laughs> You know, you watch that shit now, and, and yeah, I didn't think anything of it. I was a black kid in Mississippi watching that shit, and it was, it was what it was, you know? And then you watch some of the old movies they don't show anymore, with like Step and Fetch and shit in it, but... Um, yeah, Grease... Gre- they- but, you know, Walt Disney was a Nazi sympathizer. Bro, his best... You know? his One of his <laughs> best friends was... What's his name? Uh, uh, Warren, uh, that fucking dude that took us to the moon. The Neil Nazi that no uh, no no uh, I, I, well, no I he no he yeah. no there was an actual Warner von Braun Warner, Warner von Braun, Braun. Okay, yeah. yeah Warner von Braun I mean like apparently like Disney even like animated some Nazi cartoon you know fucking propaganda movies wow yeah, I believe that yeah but I mean but but even in that time I feel the elite. Walt Disney himself was involved in a lot. I mean, that was just like his business. And that's how he, I mean, that's how you had to have that money to even open up that damn Disneyland. I mean, this fool apparently, I mean, how true is it that he had a dream, had the dream, woke up and said, man, I want to go build what I just had a dream about, which is well, okay. some he was a man. I mean, I mean, you have to be a man. So, man. but, but I'm saying like, even, I mean, the, the, I'm not giving, I mean, whatever. The guy was involved in a lot of shit. So yeah. obviously, I mean, based on which, yeah, he had a lot of fucking friends. A lot of friends. I mean, he was almost maybe like the Epstein shit that, you Bro. know. <laughs> no, what I meant was, as in being relative to like a lot of people knew who Epstein was, but I'm not saying like, I'm, I'm, I mean, just you're basically knowing, saying like all of his people that he knew didn't necessarily knew what was going on. No, no, I'm saying Walt Disney knew what was going on. I'm just saying he had, I mean, he had investments in other things, I'm guessing. Yeah, you know, mixed, you know. Because, I mean, he was a big, I mean, he had a lot of money and then he. Hell yeah, he did. And then he started so Disney. He got his head I mean, I, frozen. Really? He got his head frozen. He's waiting for all the Jews to go away and they're going to bring him back to life. Where did you hear that? Well, they do have his head frozen, apparently. Where did you? Where, they have like his head frozen. Walt Disney. Yeah, so that way in the future, this is it. There's an actual, there's an actual fucking company that is doing research and they're trying to fucking bring people back to life. And back then, he, I guess, he invested in. It. He goes, yeah, just do me, and he's frozen somewhere. Wow. That I'm not saying they're gonna bring his ass back to life. No, I know they're not gonna bring him back, but I'm saying yeah. to have this dude frozen, you know. They thought it's of that a, shit way like, earlier. You know? It's almost like that football player who who didn't shoot himself in the head because he wanted them to do brain research on him. Uh, junior yeah, it's like that, but Walt Disney did that. <laughs> he didn't know what CT was, but he was like, there's something going on. Yeah, something, yeah, something like going on. Yeah. 
I mean, we are. I mean, they they did. That got that got dark. <laughs> I mean, we from that we can bring up Mexico bringing up, showing the aliens that were, bro. You know, real. <laughs> and then, and then the those look like they made them. <laughs> they look like I know, I, I know, I know a lot of Mexicans <laughs> that work in a flea market that can carve something way better. Oh than man! And and like, and did you even see like the India and their moon landing? No, did, you, I, I, did that bro, messed up or did, it looks so fu- I'm not a space enough, <laughs> but you know Bollywood movies are the cheesiest. Blah blah blah. It looks like that. Like it looks. I'm like <laughs> that's not real. Please, please pull it up. Oh, okay. This Indian moonland. You're gonna, you're like bro. That is not real. Like our oh, did they, did bro. They, they, they really bro. I was watching it. I thought like there was like they were just doing some like call center shit. Like you know like like. They're doing the the Bollywood. So it's India space landing. Yeah, space landing. And he said, "Well, what did they do? Like music in there?" No, they or? landed on the, the they landed on. India rover starts work on the moon. Uh, that's that's crazy. I would say the space landing really because it's they landed on they, well, they went on the moon. <laughs> Where did you? Bro, well, there it goes right oh, there, that's dude. It. That's it right is there. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. There's no people in that direction. Yeah, no, there's people. You want to watch this one? Yeah, I guess. They, had pe- they, they landed men on the moon. Yeah, they landed men. India did? Yeah, dude, you don't know about this? Yeah, you didn't know. Yeah, I knew about this. I didn't know about this. You didn't know about that either? No, you know about Yeah, bro. Yeah, you need to read the paper, bro. Bro, look at that. That looks like some school shit. <laughs> it looks like some shitty shit. But maybe, like, maybe bro. they're like, maybe they're like. Look at that. That shit looks fake. Look at, and look at this. One. Oh, it already landed. Yes. Oh wow. Yeah, those fools are pretty happy. Know, yeah, they're pretty he's, happy he's about this shit. Service rep at yeah, AT&T. look at them. They're all real happy. I'm just joking. Look at, <laughs> look at that. Look no, there's a bunch of happy Indians. Look how crazy that guy looks. <laughs> He does not look happy at all. I want to see not their reaction, but the actual <laughs> landing. I want to see the men No, well, there's no, there's no people on there. There is people on there. Is it a rover? Yeah. No, the moon one is just no. It's a rover. Oh, yeah, it's just yeah. They're in the moon. They're all like apparently on the other side of the moon. That we've never explored. Nobody's ever explored. Yeah, it's apparently. So, yeah, they're and then uh, Russia. Well, when they actually land. Well, Russia, Russia actually tried to land in the same spot and they fucked up. So. Oh, right there! Look, India becomes fourth. The second one. No, the short. Bro. That shit looks so fake, man. Yeah, it is kind of weird. It is kind of suspected. Like, I don't know. <laughs> does, does it look fake as fuck? Go to the short one. There was a short look. Go back. That's short. The, no, no, to the left. Left. That one. That one. Bruh. Well, that, this is... that's, no, that's the footage on the moon. <laughs> what kind of Nokia camera phone shit is that, bro? What the fuck? Yeah, this was, like I said, the same fool is jumping up. You know, Prime Minister, there he goes. You know, happy as shit. Bro. You know? Yeah, it's kind of weird. I, I, I mean, bro, look at that, look at that. Even being at my age, I have no use of even wanting to go to outer space. I just, I mean, no. no. I mean, it's a great. It's not even believable man. based on even what look you're at, saying. I mean, bro, like, but but even, do you not agree? Do you not agree with me? That does not look I don't good. Like that. I'm not saying it didn't happen. But me neither. That but crazy. Like, either y'all, y- yeah, bro. Like, dude, like, who was holding that? <laughs> Oh, look at that! That is just insane. That does not look real at all. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Maybe it's here. so silly that it can't po- it can't possibly like even if you were on the ship, you'd be like, "This, <clears> no way this happened." You, yeah, <laughs> that, I don't know. It's like this didn't happen. This like, what the fuck? I'm on the moon? You, you kidding me? The, I don't know. That 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 one looks bad though. That looks like it was on. That looks like a scene from Tron. That looks like an AOL video, like. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 
Oh man, we're already at uh, yeah, yeah. close to hitting it too. Yeah, we probably yeah, want to go ahead and uh, 11, 11. end it off. I think we did a good run. Yeah. I think it was fun. I mean, the only thing I had missed on talking about was that missing F thirty five plane that ended up missing. I saw you posted that. Did you yeah. hear about that? Missing. It's like one of the most expensive planes. Oh, I know. The I know dude, the the dude ejected, and the plane went somewhere. And like, where's the plane? <laughs> but the the story. It's not like, but, one, but, of, it's but, not like one of my cousins trying to steal some shit. <laughs> no, well, no, 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 because no, because I I worked on F 18s F 18s is a little different from F thirty fives, but the F eighteen. Yeah, no, no, no. This is the yeah the Hornet. Yeah, 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 yeah. My bad. No, super Hornet. But no, I mean. There's just not something right in the story, though. That's that's the only yeah, thing I'm bringing up. Like it's fishy. Yeah, it's just something solely fishy about the whole fucking story about talking about I ejected because something wasn't working right. And then all of a sudden, we don't know where the jet's at. And for them to come out with that information and tell everybody that they don't know where the jet's at, yeah, it's I even more fucked up. Well, apparently there's Please. a... Apparently there's a lake nearby there, so they're guessing that it went in the lake. But apparently the lake is very deep, so that's going to take. I don't know. There's a lake nearby where this jet. This is this is in South Carolina. If it, if it was in Houston, the catalytic converter would have got stolen. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, no shit. Bro, it's just some weird shit, man. It's just like Coming like. Upon. <laughs> and that's the only thing else I wanted to bring up. It's just like just just the weirdness and everything right now. That's a perfect example yeah, the, of how the weird things space, fucking are. Fake Indian landing, fake aliens, fake fucking jet missing. <laughs> I mean, everything is crazy. Like it's it's. I mean, India is like India and Nigeria top two for fraud. So oh yeah, of course. Top two countries for fraud. And, and China. <laughs> China, well, China. Bro. China's two legs. Bro. They steal everything, bro. They don't give a fuck. They stole Paris. Did you know that? They got yeah. a they got a propped up city of Paris there. Yeah, they got a whole the temple. Exactly. It's part of their debt. Why they're in debt too? But yeah. yeah, they got a bunch of fake hotel cities like hotel, like where they're like these are luxury homes just to make the fucking prices. Well, they Maui, Maui. The fires in Maui, the fucking space laser they're claiming that's <laughs> knocking all the poor people out of there. <laughs> Oprah Winfrey in Iraq. Can you please give some money? I'm like, Oprah, really? You gave everyone Corvettes and you're asking for fucking money? He's like, not for me. For my yeah, I know that rock, man. I don't know what's going on with rock, bro. I'm going to be like, rock. I used bro? to love the so rock bro? so much, but I really feel like he sold the soul to the industry. No, I, I don't know, man. Anytime, anytime you Yet see... Yet again, dog, but he didn't know. That's what I'm you're saying. You're right. No, he didn't know. But anytime you see The Rock cast it on any movie, no matter what, that movie will never be as good as you want it to be. Because it has The Rock in it. That's why they watch Black Adam. <laughs> I was like, I can't do this. I can't. I can't. I wish The Rock. I, no, actually, I wish The Rock were in The Rock movie, but Dwayne Johnson is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if he could be a bad guy, <laughs> yeah, a heel. I wish he's fucking no, yeah. but like, like I said, right. it's. Just, like, I don't know. I think he just got to that point where he's out of his control now, where it's just he's like... A, if he's just, Kevin Hart's like, well, he's like, it doesn't matter <laughs> what you think. <laughs> the Rock, it doesn't matter. But yeah, yeah that, 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 that's the reason. I, I, come on, bro. Yeah, of course I remember that. Like, what's your name? It doesn't matter what your name yeah, is. Yeah, I love that. Rock was, Rock the Rock was, was my favorite. That was his best part. And then, and the, then, and then the, what was the... That was, that was Suck It. That was DX. Oh, that was DX, right. Yeah, oh, suck bad. It. That's what you get in trouble for doing that in school. Yeah. Fuck it. Suck it. <laughs> I didn't even know what that meant. Because I was too young. So like the teacher would be like, you got to you gotta stay after school for detention. I'm like, fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know I was like telling them, fuck you. I was just like, suck it. You know? <laughs> I didn't know. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like bro. I I remember. I didn't know what I didn't know what ho check meant. You didn't know what ho check meant? I didn't know. I didn't. I thought ho like a whole check. I thought I was just fucking stupid. <laughs> and I, and no, I you asked, were just young. I asked a lunch lady for like some like a bag of chips. She gave it to me. I was like, yeah, I got you on ho check. And I I didn't know what that word meant. Gosh, so oh yeah, bro. I got so much fucking trouble. And so much trouble. I was an idiot. I didn't well, get <clears throat> it did. It poisoned my mind, but I loved it. I think it's a natural thing for all of us. Bro, those. wrestling was. See, I was like. I mean, because now I'm in UFC. It's weird now. Teenagers, you know, like, 
Like, bro, so you were just going wild. You were just fucking going wild. I mean, wild. it was just cool to watch, but I, I couldn't have imagined being like five or six watching that shit. Bro, my you dad, my, shit. yeah, it's just wrestling. Yeah. Like, like, oh, here comes Trish Stratus. I'm yeah. like, yeah. Godfather with the whole train. The whole train. Mr. Ass Man. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Ass Man. <laughs> See, that's a little bit after my time. Bro, no, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still going to Hulk Hogan. Like, oh, bro. My, I my dad. Too. That shit was corny. I was watching NWA back then. Yeah. yeah. You mean. You mean WCW? Well, it became WCW. NWO. NWO. Uh, NWO. WCW. WCW. NWO. New World Order. No, but, no, but I think he's referring to New World Order. I thought Order. you meant, like, no, straight out of Compton, I'm NWA. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bro, you're old, dog. Yeah. That's yeah, like when they had territories yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, so they I bet wrestling was big there. There was yeah, like a big South wrestling. South yeah. Spot, yeah. Wrestling. Oh shit. That's got that's CWA. badass. Got, oh, that's badass. Georgia Championship Wrestling and we got Mid Atlantic. That's we a, got Houston Wrestling and WCCW out of Dallas. Jesus. I never I, I, I know that's I th- when I think about wrestling, I'm like, damn, that's crazy how that how did that work? No, but like, it, but it's a trip because my dad he used to take he used to take me when I was little. No, 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 no. That was my brothers. They were, uh, they I was a little younger. Houston, but Houston wrestling lasted like No, no, that's what I'm saying. I, I think my dad probably did go there yeah. with my brothers. But then when so I got in. there was a local in, Houston I, I, wrestling scene? Summit. Yeah, yeah the so Summit. It was, it was where, uh, it's where John Olstein's at now. No, but no, 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 no. I'm talking about no, no, no. Houston wrestling at the Sam Houston Coliseum, which is now the Alley Theater. Okay. No, no, that's what I'm saying. My dad used to tell me. Yeah, the Von Erichs used to go there and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, but that's what I'm saying. Before my time, that was okay. like, for as far as I know. I think my dad, my dad would take my brothers there. Every Friday night, dude. That's badass. They had like six to eight thousand in there. But I'm saying when I was growing, like later on, when I was like in, I don't know, fifth grade or whatever, my dad would take us to see yeah, Hogan, WWF. WWF, and it would be Andre the Giant, and you, you know. No, nah, I forgot. Oh, okay. Is that WB? Uh, yeah, WB, WB now, yeah. Channel 39. It was Channel 39. I, man, TV was wild. Yeah. TV was wild. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's just things are changing, man. Like, when well, you really think changed. about it, bro. When you really think about it, it's like, damn. Like, I don't know. It's good It's good to even talk about it now, you know? Can at least say, hey, I was there. I was. <laughs> I was there. We had a TV guide. <laughs> I had a TV guide I would go on. Like like, that. I, I, when, when I wanted to go to movies on the weekends, get the newspaper and you see what they're playing, you know? Or you would just call and just wait for them to tell you all the terrible movies they're playing. And if you miss the time, like, fuck, I got to let it play again. Like, right. Or or do you even think about, like, those Saturdays or those Sundays where, like, you had really nothing to do when you were a kid? Bro. And then I would – no, but I, I, I remember when I was a kid was – Bruce Lee movies on Channel 20. Yeah. And then it would be... <laughs> oh, Kung Fu. Yeah, dude, they had Kung Fu movies on Channel 20. Yeah, they came on after Saturday morning. I, 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 wonder, Saturday I never really understood it. I'd just be like, yo, are we just forced to watch this shit? But I was like, oh. oh was no, but it was... Awesome. No, 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 but I mean... But but I would look for Bruce Lee only, though. I wouldn't... Really? I I, I, yeah, I wouldn't really watch anybody else, but I would watch specifically look for Bruce. I was like, eh. And then that would be kind of my decision-making of whether I'm going to watch it or not, because... Whether Bruce Lee was in it or not. Those were great movies for us, though, because they were westerns. They were true but we didn't even westerns. know. But so we didn't even know, though. No, we didn't easterns. know. Ah, you're right. They're easterns. But they were westerns, though. Like, like in, in the but we, story was I, yeah, yeah. Was but we didn't yeah. know, though. On a mission, on a quest, it, was, it, it, it matched perfectly. And, and I bet it was kind of like taken from our western movies. My foreign flicks were, I watched some Bruce Lee movies. Like, of course, you know, Enter the Dragon, Fist of Fear. You know the main ones, but I was mainly into Godzilla. Okay. Godzilla was my shit. Yeah. I watched all the fucking Godzilla movies. Yeah. So I don't even know what I don't even know when they came on. That I was thirty nine. I, I, that I was guess, channel thirty nine. Yeah. <laughs> and then then I would watch uh, Benny Hill. Look up that shit. Benny Hill. You know about Benny Hill? Benny Hill. I know the name Benny Hill. Yeah. Benny yeah. Hill is like you original. Know about Benny Hill next time. Yeah. yeah. That's so sad, man. Nah, so I guess we're ended right at the two two hour mark. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. cool, man. And thanks, Ruben, for coming, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. I'm so glad you came, man. So uh, glad, I hope bro. you're gonna come back again. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah, of course. And then you know, obviously, you know where we're at. Um, but yeah, this is awesome. I guess we ended then. Yeah. 
Hell yeah, man. when you were driving over here that, you know, you were coming into an ambush? Yeah, I thought this was a hostile situation. <laughs> oh, this is his torture chamber. Like, this is this is it. It's a fucking Franchise warehouse. Yeah. The fuck? There's a strip club down the street from here. <laughs> I just go to that strip club. <laughs>